<laughs> Shit the bed. Hello and welcome to season two of Not Forty Just Blank, a podcast where we continue to take you back in time through the years and discuss all the weird and wonderful events within it, which make it so memorable for us. Each episode will find us chatting through the events, TV, news, sports, film and music of a single year, as well as the odd, funny and personal stuff that we can remember. So come and join us on our latest journey as we plough through the noughties, right here on Not Forty Just Blank. I've got 21 seconds to flow. I've got 21 seconds to go. Because if you like me, let me know. Let me in the studio. I've got 21 seconds before i got to go to the toilet. Oh, it's not my fault, Blankers. It's just my age. But fortunately, we're well prepared here on Not Faulty, Just Blank. And producer Barry's very kindly emptied our bags. So we're all ready to record another episode. So, where on earth are my very own So Solid crew? Where are you, Romeo Reynolds and Asher Dell? <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Yeah. Are we well? Good evening. Romeo Reynolds. I like that. Romeo, Romeo Reynolds. Reynolds. That's... Yeah. I mean, I, I was trying to really squeeze that one in. It was like Romeo Dunn. I couldn't think of anything else. Romeo Reynolds. So Romeo Reynolds is. I like it. But That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, Asher I'm, D. Asher Dell. I'm yeah. loving that. I'm, I'm loving that. Was actually the uh, our first song at our wedding. Uh, Twenty one. <laughs> 21 seconds. This is, this is or, how long or, or was that the wedding evening? It could well be, I reckon. I reckon more so the second. Yeah, sadly, more so. Yeah, sadly well. for Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Bear. Yeah, but Mrs. Yeah. Bear, she was disappointed. Are we, uh, are we fighting fit, gentlemen? Oh, very good. Are we ready to talk 2001? Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, Space yeah. Odyssey. What mm. that too. Um, so, we're 23 years of age, full of energy and ideas, both good and bad, no doubt. But I have no memory of what was going on. Phil, I know you bloody well don't. So, let's hand it over to the only man that does, mm. Richie D. Take us through what we were up to. Well, that's a great place to start. The fact of 2001 Space Odyssey was meant to be a replica of, well, not a replica, it's meant to be a lighter version of what we was living then. And it was just, it's one of them things of like move, movies do it a lot. They used to do it in sort of like, I know, Schwarzenegger films as well, didn't they? They used to say that, I oh, know, this is the year. This is what's going to happen. Know, yeah, yeah. 19, yeah I suppose 2001 was set in space though, so we don't actually know. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. No. still don't. <laughs> but were there like uh, talking, uh, talking spaceships called how? Probably. Yeah, probably. There was quite a lot actually that come from that film. I think like, it's like credit cards, microwaves, I think that were... That Kubrick actually what, predicted he, would happen. Oh, yeah. Do you remember his advert for his microwave? Oh, Kubrick's microwave? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going for? Uh, uh, Kubrick. <laughs> <laughs> Kubrick. What you're talking about. Poppity ping. <laughs> but your, no, he did... Um, your breakfast's ready. <laughs> yeah, it's Kubrick. Because obviously that was in 1969, I think. But it did actually predict quite a lot of things from the future. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. But I'll, you're right. I'll take it. I'll, no, no, you're right. In okay. certain things. I was going to take it back, but then... Flippantly not. throwing some Flippantly. comedy out there yeah. and then Phil brings us down with some no. solid hard yeah. facts. Well, I don't know so much about sort of like uh, Kubrick's microwaves, but I do know about <laughs> they, sort of kind they, of... They are great. I don't know where... What, <laughs> Got Foreman's Grills for, Kubrick's for, microwaves. Oh <laughs> not full to just blank. Sponsored by <laughs> Kubrick's <laughs> microwaves. That's a great sponsor. We'll take that, shall we? Yeah, From here on in, that's it. Yeah, Unless Stanley has any Objections. Oh, I don't think Stanley only, only. I think he's. I think he's, uh, I think he's now the official sponsor. <laughs> Kubrick's <laughs> Kubrick's microwaves. <laughs> uh, anyone from the Kubrick family, if they'd uh, like to uh, see what put their name forward, <laughs> we'll sponsor a podcast. Yeah, we'll, we'll consider you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll add you to the list. <laughs> no, so I've oh, missed the Kubrick. Uh, probably wasn't doing what I was doing at that time, but I was kind of like. To, uh, I always, I, I've been saying this probably for the last three, three times, maybe three, three years or whatever I've been doing these memories, but turning the corner. But I think this was the last of the bad boy era. This was it. This was the end. I think so. But it was kind of ended by this one party and... <laughs> Without the bang. Uh, yes, <laughs> he, pretty he saved much. the best till last. Well, it was, it was a house party and um, it was pretty much everyone at the house party took acid and there's these acids called white lightnings which were nicknamed quite frightening and for obvious reasons because they were like horrific and so much so that there was two girls that turned up two classy girls let me let me tell you who turned up a room full of like testosterone sort of pretty much sort of like guys freaking out on acid and their words were we came here for cock <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are tripping off your bollocks so we're going to do one. 
And wow. so I mean, so, you, that's almost poetry, isn't so it? Close so close. Sounds like so that um, yeah. film, like They Live, when he comes in and says. I mean, for two reasons, to kick ass and chew gum. <laughs> and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> I thought I was going to yeah, say really? something like that. <laughs> oh, mate, you, to be fair, they could have probably said anything to us. And it was so much like that. We kind of like, we were we were kind of like freaking out as you do an acid. You looked at all different things. You take in sort of different lights and perceptions and patterns and all that sort of stuff. But at the time, there's one guy who didn't take acid, and he came up to us. Captain Sensible. We'll, Captain we'll, Sensible. Well, I'll let you decide if he's Captain Sensible. <laughs> he, he was a guy who came up to us and go, guys, would you like to come for a drive? And he then pursued to his car, downing a bottle of whiskey, Jameson's whiskey. Can I just say now, I, I retract my Captain Sensible. Right, Captain Sensible, right. So I don't know. I mean, he, there's certain reasons why you don't get in a car with someone. First of all, probably down in a bottle of whiskey is pretty... pretty I would say it's a red flag. How about punching a steering wheel while you're in tears? (laughs) So he was crying. He was crying and punching punching his own steering wheel. Do we know know this individual? Yeah, you do. Let's let's try that. Give us us a rhyming slang name. um, I'll say... Wigsy. I'll say this was... (laughs) This, this, this was that doesn't help me at all no it doesn't well it won't really so but that rule okay that's that's hey, what all you get is tell, tell us off tell us off air anyway we decided so what did the steering wheel done to make him so angry or upset um i think he called him uh, <laughs> I, think he called, I think he called him a cheeseburger as oh well that'll do, that'll do it so um but yeah anyway so he's very angry he decided to take us on a lovely country drive that sounds uh, nice down, so down ben fleet high road which is 30 lovely. miles per hour yes, it is. we obviously fall. 30 miles per hour. Well, that's more that's, of a guideline, isn't that's it? That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah let's try silly. 70 and overtake taxis. Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. So we're all having a good old day. It's like a road trip. It's a fun time out. And of course, there's um, a police station on Bentfleet High Street. There is, but... At we, that time as well. Oh, no, we, we missed that. We dodged that. that was, <laughs> we're that way was, too fast yeah, past that. Say, as, as you flew um, past that. <laughs> don't be silly. That wasn't an issue. What was an issue was when we were speeding around sort of like by Cemetery Corner uh, about, I don't know, 50 odd miles per hour... That there's a bus stop there, and someone decided that obviously he's driving a bit too fast. So let's pull up the handbrake. That's a good idea. So Slow him down a bit. Pull up the handbrake, crash straight into the bus uh, <laughs> bus stop. So it's all great. It's Fortunately, all like no one's waiting for a bus. I hope no one was waiting for a bus. It was a bit sort of like it's kind of like weird times and hours. We end up pushing the car right around the corner. Next day, police awareness time. Um, then got back to the flat where we was where we was. Again, we uh, someone suggested, um, why don't do you, know, do you remember like Thresher's wine shop? Yeah, so there's yeah. a Victoria wine shop. It was got to the point where it was after hours uh, you couldn't buy any drink, so but someone said, Oh, why don't we just break into Victoria it's the most wine? logical yes. thing, isn't why, it? Well, and get the grandfather <laughs> bottles of whiskey, not oh, the, just the, the normal the, size, no. but the grandfather whiskey. Anyway, there, a couple of people went there, we all decided we sobered up a little bit, and everyone ran into each other like Keystone Cops. Yeah. Two of the guys robbed it, ended up finally getting nicked, and right later down the line. And um, we finished off the night by going back to this flat, getting shovels and hitting the owners of the flat's uh, uh, bicycle with, with shovels. shovels. Yeah. So that was that. Was that. So that was... <laughs> so just a Thursday night then? Yeah. So it was kind of the, like a bit, ran- bit random, but hey, that was that. So. And this was you turning the corner or this just before you turned the corner? So that is the last one of these like related stories. So they're, they're out the window. Oh, so now, not, not the only thing. So with the shovels, a bicycle, so two, two of the uh, around the, <laughs> the next time. day, I found God. The next day, I found God. <laughs> well, I didn't find God. I found someone else. So this is a, I, so I found a crashed up car. I found someone else, but <laughs> yeah. it got to the point where, like, I remember coming home one day because I was working at the time, and uh, my mum came up to me and went, oh, "Me and your dad are a little bit concerned. We found something under your bed," and uh, my mum was a little bit horrified by it. To be fair. Um, was it a human head, though? It wasn't a human head. Okay. Do you think anything just, else what it could be? Just wanted to clarify. Uh, a, an old cheese sandwich. It was an old cheese Somewhere sandwich. Somewhere between Do you think anything like found something under the bed could be horrified? I don't know. A head, maybe. Maybe anything Cliff else. Cliff Richard album. Cliff Richard album. Yeah, no. That yeah, that's close. Right. That's pretty close. They, um, they, they basically found out that I was a member of the Jerry, Jerry Halliwell fan club. Oh, my God. Uh, and I had a T-shirt parents. with I Love Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> So that's um, wow. that's why she was I, um, concerned about that. 
Uh, well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's a bit. I wasn't with. Uh, I wasn't with any girls at the time. It was kind of like a little bit. I probably. Oh, was she? Was she thinking you might I be going down? I think so. A yeah, path. like not not that it would be a big deal. But back then, she kind of thought she, it was concerned. She was concerned about the ginger. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, that's, that's more. What it was. That's more what it was. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> she was, Don't go out with a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it to us, Rich. Don't do it. Um, think but, of the family. <laughs> But apart, well, you know, as members of, I was a member of this club, um, went for an album signing. Can you, do you remember the name of the album? Jerry Halliwell's, Jerry Halliwell's solo, solo album. album. Is that what it was called? That would have been called. It wasn't called that. That's what it's called. So, does, exactly what, original. does exactly what it says on the tip. I'm going to give you something. It's, um, if you was on a roller coaster, you might do this. Oh, it's Scream it stop if, if you want to go faster. Oh, yeah. Scream if you want to go faster. So, yeah, we went to, me and Gav went to the album signing at Tower Records. And we was basically, we took a day off work, half day off work, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, we was both in suits. Um, so, basically. Well dressed. Making Jerry, an impression. Jerry loved a good a man in a suit. Well, basically, yeah. the whole queue for the lineup were girls. Is that when she sang It's Raining Men and stuff like that? Uh, no, that was a bit later, actually. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I can't remember her hit off screen. If you <laughs> there wasn't one. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was. Maybe it was. It might have been, been, actually. Maybe, I think yeah. Phil might be right. Maybe Phil's a bit of a fan. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, the queue for the line was basically teenage girls, gay men, and me and Gav. <laughs> so uh, that was there. So, um, But yeah, it was about... What, what, a, what a day out, though. Pretty much, yeah. We oh, was lovely. pretty much like... We were sorry, smitten. Out of place. Was, was, you, a bit, was you starstruck? A little bit starstruck. Well, that's the thing. We was a bit out of place, like a bit like Hitler at a bar mitzvah. It's kind of like, that's kind of like, the, the, is that, oh, okay, sorry. I'm trying to think of analogy, something, yeah. maybe not as Properly close as that. Like, but yeah. Yeah, Fish out of water. Exactly. I learned a lot that day. I learned apparently famous people don't like it when you touch their face. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's a less. You <laughs> didn't touch. Well, you touched her face. Touched her face. For, we had a photo, and I, I, I thought it was. Like, I, I thought it was right to touch her face. And, you yeah. just what? Just stroked uh, Jerry Halliwell's face. Yeah, I like, stroked her face. Like, I have a little. Sure bit of what did she do then? Uh, well, she didn't do anything, but security had a bit of a word. So yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's her. <laughs> so, <laughs> got a bit aggressive. Have you washed you can't... your hands uh, since, though? Oh yeah, no, we no. not really. I think we're what are we. Yeah, we're hitting over. Well, it's over twenty years, isn't mm. it? So must no be due. Way. Must be due a little. Uh, Little rinse. So, well, yeah, but what? But the signing, so this, this is a bit cringy. So there's a, there's a picture left. And so I got a picture of the signing. But Gav got a picture as well. Um, then I used to talk about this when I used to do gigs. And one day I used to hand it around the audience. So one day... The well, the actual was, picture? The actual picture. Oh, nice. So, um, I'll, I'll, if I can find it, I'll put it up on the... Um, yeah, on yeah, Instagram. On socials, yeah. But yeah, if, uh, but I used to do gigs and I used to hand it around the audience. But one day the uh, picture went missing. And this, so this is a proper printout, proper printout of, of me and right, Jerry. Okay. So I thought, like, I thought it was over. I just used to use it as material to just talk, chat about the like, whole nonsense and stuff. Uh, one day it went missing, and this, I, this is one probably one of the lowest points sort of of my life. Like <laughs> this, after all the stories you told like, us. No, yeah. really, honestly, have, this. Like, have a rethink. Well, I'll let you decide. But <laughs> top top three, oh, yeah. top, top three. three. Oh, it's going. Top three. Well. I, lo- I lost my shit. So <laughs> what? What? I got big guy missing. Yeah, and, and so, you, so I went. To, I went to the landlord of the pub and I demanded him to check the CCTV <laughs> <laughs> because this one picture. <laughs> this one picture of, of Jerry Halliwell. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah, it just turned out I misplaced it. But yeah, so that's <laughs> well, you what, found it after. That, yeah, yeah, yeah it's like something stupid. After I've done all the bullshit, of, you feel you've got to fucking check this and all this sort of stuff. It's <laughs> the like, fact that you demanded, you, they demanded check the CCTV. Demanded as well. Yeah. Like, why why was you losing your shit over it though? Well, because it was so precious. Well, you didn't have a copy. No, I didn't have a copy. That's what I mean. I should have. I could have photocopied it. I could have done the vibe. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, it's not like having a digital version. Yeah. You just have to have the whole thing. So yeah, so and then that leads us to um, this was the year I met my wife, and um, yeah, I met Claire at Southend Air Show after being split up. She from, was a pilot, wasn't she? She was, <laughs> mate. Yeah, for the Red Arrows. She, she, she uh, Red yeah. Arrows. When, 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 <laughs> when you, when drove she, the first one. She was a red, red one. <laughs> well, yeah, it's only sort of t- one time in a month when she was menstruating. That, was, that would come out the back of the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, is that how you, is that how you uh, use turn, it? Turn turn red arrow. arrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, red Arrow to, Week is it? Red Arrow Week. <laughs> so yeah, a bit, a bit of that. Um, but yeah, when I met her, I just like I don't know if you when you met your sort of wives, would you try and impress them or would you? Oh, so. would you just be in your Yourselves. Oh, oh Jesus! Can you imagine me being myself? I don't think, <laughs> don't think we'd be together. No. I think I've been uh, trying to impress her ever since. It hasn't worked yet. I'm hanging on in there. I'm playing the long game. 
So you saying she changed you, Dill? Is that what you're, is that what you're well, trying to tell us? Yeah, she has changed me massively, but I was, I was still in a I was in a knobhead mode. I like, obviously you know me. I don't smoke, but for, for some reason on that night I was trying to impress her. I was smoking. And so you don't a, you don't need the picture of Jerry anymore? Is that what you're saying? He still got that. Well, I don't know. It's well, a tough one. You put me on the spot there. Yeah. So yeah, so I try and impress her smoking and like I don't know. Did I thought it was like James Dean. Jane Jane Dean? Jane Dean. Jane Dean. Jane Dean. You know, you know Jane Dean. I thought it was an ice skater. She, she runs a cafe <laughs> down the one side. Oh, like Jane Dean. Jane Dean. <laughs> I had a uh, I had a lovely little, little short skirt and Christopher oh, Chris, I almost said Christopher, Christopher, Christopher Robin. <laughs> it's Christopher Torval, wasn't it? Christopher Dean. Yeah, Christopher Dean was spinning me round and it was all good. But no, I thought it was like James Dean. I thought it was really tall smoking. Did Christopher like, Tolville? He did. Yeah. Christopher Tolville. We're, we're glossing that one. Is it Tolville? It's J- Jane Tolville and Christopher Dane. Oh, damn. Oh. It felt so right when it came out of the mouth. So, it didn't. Yeah. It sounded really wrong. That's why I had to question it. In my head, it felt right. So, no, so you're no. at the air show. You're smoking, even though you don't smoke, just to impress this girl. Yes. How, do you, how, how have you met her? What was the what was the story? So we got split up between the group we was with. The group we were with were being a bit sort of like a bit knobbish, so to speak. So we ended up going. I split was up. This, up with, with was Steve. this the Joe? No, what was her name? Um, huh? Steve's girlfriend. Was it that day? Yeah, we, when she Hannah. fainted. Oh no, no, that was, was when she not? watched. Uh, I know that's when Steve was, was in the boy band, wasn't it? <laughs> he was live on stage. What? <laughs> Shut a, a giddy moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just getting passed out to the front like Bross used to do. <laughs> Yeah, no, I possibly... No, I don't think... No, Steve was with Hannah and... Uh, that's okay. right. So we went to meet him and that. So I thought it was cool, smoking. thought it was James Dean, but not really. Just like James Dean in a house fire, probably. Just like <laughs> coughing up my guts and stuff. But yeah, and then sort of like dancing, obviously. You know me from my moves, don't you? Yeah, yeah, sick so. at dancing, Dale. Why did you yeah, dance got- at an air show? Oh, just everyone loves to <laughs> dance. Like, we're, we're, we're dance we're, when, when Dale's in full uh, impress mode, when the red no, no, he's he coming out, Dale anyway. just breaks into yeah. dance. Break dance. Everyone was like, hey, who's Can't that guy? Help himself. When the rhythm gets him. Moves like Jagger, moves like Robocop. <laughs> who's that? <laughs> Wanted dead or alive. Yes. Yeah, so, so when no. you're smoking as well, like mm. you didn't smoke, you're saying? No. Was it that, that, that really awkward, like, with a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. She was like, you don't look comfortable. Yeah. Are you sure you're smoking? All that sort of stuff. But yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much that from me. And the other things I've got is um, I love the fact Jim. that just, just, you're, you're dancing and you're smoking impressed her enough that it worked. Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, also, when um, thank God she's got low standards. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, thank God. thank God they've all got low standards. <laughs> oh no, a hundred percent. Yeah, so pretty much that's how that's that's how I met my wife, and then wow, the rest that's... is history. But I was going to say, Jim, that was I, I'm, to correct me if I'm wrong, but was this the year you moved out? Uh, 2001. I was, uh, crikey. No, I think it was the year before. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It was 2000. So we bought, I can't we remember. Bought, can remember I see what it was. We about. bought a house in 2000 and mm. we, we were doing it out. I think we moved in just after. So yeah, yeah, probably was that when I actually moved out of the parental home. Parental. Because I remember you with this, with a house party. We did. Yeah. God, we had, we had several, because we were one of the first, obviously you had your, your place first, for, but I think it was one of the first that we had the the ability to just do what we wanted, wasn't it, yeah, essentially? Yeah. yeah. So it just became, yeah, a bit, let's go round, let's have a party. Was this the one where people ended up jumping on car huh. bonnets and throwing cutlery on the roof? Yeah, or? well, now a certain Mr. H, didn't he, with a, certain had a bit Mr. of a strop over yeah. some crisps. Did not supply the relevant crisps. <laughs> you didn't um, have the right crisps in your house. <laughs> didn't have the right what crisps. crisps was he after? What kind of party are you running <laughs> it was here, a, I don't know what crisps he's after, but the ones Jim had in his house <laughs> they, weren't the right ones. They one. were not What's the right, right ones. Let me rephrase it. What crisps did you have? Well, the power I was supplying <laughs> was not electrifying. Was it because you'd moved out? You'd probably gone for like, did you go for a cheaper option? Maybe, maybe I went for it because like, uh, yeah, all the money shopper. was tied into yeah, the, yeah, to the yeah. house. Happy shopper ones. Do you know, I, it may have been. I was, I was doing all right at the time. I think I might have been to, able to stretch some, some hula hoops. Oh, but, oh, and he wasn't oh, happy with hula hoops. I, I think he might have been. He was a Pringles guy. Oh. Uh, we loved the. That's what it was. If it didn't come in a tube. Didn't want to know about <laughs> Come it. Come in a tube. <laughs> that was how he used to ejaculate. Okay. Always oh, came in a tube. It was a nightmare on the underground. Oh. <laughs> Absolute yeah. nightmare. You could never go out with him on the central line, could you? What, just be yeah, wanking, spaffing everywhere. It. Yeah. But yeah, so it was, uh, yeah, it was, that was one of my memories. It was, uh, I'll show you, if you don't supply the right crisps, I'm going to throw your plastic cutlery onto the roof. On the roof. That- so he did. Launched me. 
launched me throwaway cutlery onto the roof of me. Was a whole big bag of assorted crisps? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, it was a sizable bag. Get them all, then threw them on the roof. That was that. happening. Well, another, <laughs> another friend was um, trying into uh, Billy Piper. Was it? Massively into mm. Billy Piper. Yeah, we uh, we found the the, the CD case. It was into Billy? I know it was either Piper or Elliot. I can't remember. Let's let's or Connolly. But yeah, let's, Connolly, let's assume yeah. it, let's assume it was the uh, the young <laughs> singer. But or yeah, D. Williams, we, I don't know. I think, I think we found the, the... Was it the CD case in the back of his car? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is this Billy Piper album doing in the back of your car, Mr. O? Oh, I don't know. It was someone else's probably. Some it was one of those... Serenaded. Some, you can't... Some, yeah, you could never own up to like, you know, a, a girl band. But um, he did. He used to rock the Billy, didn't he? He did. <laughs> Can I be your girlfriend? Yes, please. <laughs> Loved it. Why are you playing that song so loud, Paul? Yeah. Because we, we want, want to. to. Yeah. Because we want to. Honey to the bee. That's, <gasps> that's you for me. for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she had some absolutely banging tunes, didn't she? she? Did, yeah. Wow. I think I might have mis- misjudged it. <laughs> Who would have thought wow. she would have? He was uh, way ahead of his time. Maybe he was. He knew his. He knew his stuff, didn't he? But yeah, it was. Um, it was. Uh, it was a nice little time. I remember that. I remember that house fondly. I know. First house. First, first life, house. First, first house, house. Absolutely. Life. Yeah. First time. Served us. First kiss. Oh, what feeling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what feeling is this? Electricity flows. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was a nice little time. It was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, I've got, yeah, all, got all. I've got all wistful. Got all just Phil, you looked, got any I've, I've, looked, I've looked away into the, the, the middle of the No, no. Any. Can't think of anything. Not a damn thing, Mr. Yeah. Reynolds. Yeah. You were you were knee deep in married life and. No, not then. Not was married life, but yeah. Yeah. With with partner and so Didn't you try yeah. to oh, yeah. um, breed with horses? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tried it. Yeah. Failed miserably. Okay. So I <laughs> yeah. gave it up. Well, you have to take yeah. a step ladder with you. That's the, uh, yeah. that's the trick, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, And when they keep is, me, it fucking hurt. Is, is yeah. the farmer still a bit off with you? Yeah, we don't yeah. talk no more. No, okay. <laughs> we don't talk no more. Not since he uh, shot at me. The Ooh, incident. Oh, really? The incident, yeah. Wow. There you go. There you go. You know, powerful all, all under the bridge. Powerful <laughs> memories as ever with us. But um, thank you for taking us through some. some emotional is that, is that, all, is that all the memories you got, Dale? That's all the memories. Well, I got oh. all the memories, but uh, yeah, I, I yeah. talked to someone regularly. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Weirdly, yeah, we're, we're working the ones, through their memories. They're the only ones he can yeah. talk about properly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you imagine the ones that he can't talk about? <laughs> yeah. He should so. release a book. Absolutely. Are you? Yeah, you. Are you in a strange wild man that lives in the forest eating rabbit shit and killing badgers for fun? Do you worry about your appearance for an up-and-coming job interview with the local nursery? Well, here at Don't Be Weird, Lose the Beard, our wild man face shavers will meet you deep in the woods and give you a shave that screams, Look at me, darling, I look fabulous! With famous clients such as Tarzan, John Rambo and gentle Ben Affleck, we'll have you looking like the next CEO of Apple in no time. So call us now by yelling out beard at the top of your voice from your nearest tree. Don't be weird, lose the beard. Should we uh, should we talk about what was possibly making the uh, the news headlines Ooh, back in the yeah, uh, man. back in 2001? Yeah, man. It's quite a year for news when it's 2001. Well, there was obviously one <laughs> big talking point. Yes. Yeah, well, was, we're not going to really go on to that though, we, are we? It would be well, I think you have we to should say where we were when it maybe not I think, say I think, about it so you have to mention it, obviously, because it was the biggest Such news event. Thing, well, yeah. probably of the the millennium so far, almost, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah, well, we kind of talked about it already because Jerry Hallowell's sort of like <laughs> screen. It was huge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was huge, absolutely yeah. huge. There was another I was, thing. Though, I was, I was, I was at work when that was, happened. Yeah, when <laughs> there was, yeah. there was another thing. So yeah, unfortunately, the whole nine eleven. Jim, was you smashing Jerry Hallowell? So it was I was, with a hammer? I was uh, trying to download uh, an illegal version of. Uh, Billy Piper's album after <laughs> hearing it in Mr. Oakley's car. I thought it was so good. I was trying to get a copy myself. Yeah. Um, I think I was at work as well. And just, yeah, the whole thing unfolding was absolutely ghastly. And it was like, yeah, it was, the world's never yeah. going to be the same again type thing. But yeah, it was just horrific, wasn't it? So uh, I went, I went to, on the holiday day after. Cause I remember. What, is that scared? No, no. Oh, me and Claire Alan. were going to Greece and, mm. Obviously, at the time, it was so, everyone was so uncertain of what was going yeah, on. Absolutely. We didn't know if it was going on all day. Like, is everything closed down? Because like, yeah, the whole airspace got yeah, shut down. Just, the whole lot, didn't but it, we, so. we did. We we did go on holiday, and I remember we went to, like I said, Greece, and it took us about oh, three. Like, everyone on the everyone at Gatwick Airport, there was police with like the biggest machine gun you've yeah. ever seen. Like, yeah. it, was, it just it was changed. Just, yeah, it was it like me. Like I said, that was the next day. It took us about three oh. hours to board the plane. Yeah. I remember I'm like checking the. 
lining of your coat, everything yeah. as you're going in. I mean, you felt the same as anything. You're just like... Yeah. Nothing we are still talking about story. September the 11th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not Jerry Halliwell. I don't think we've been Jerry Halliwell. If you very, touch your face, yeah. mate, you'll find out that <laughs> them big machine guns, yeah. they come in handy. So, yeah. But like two weeks, yeah, like, and obviously yeah. we was on the holidays, yeah. on the news, had papers, everything as it was. Yeah, I think, we had, uh, I think we had the day off the next day, from what I remember. Just, yeah, but like two weeks coming back, we didn't even get our passports checked. Just like... It's like it's been like going. The other side, it was yeah. just like, yeah, it could go through. Just like, yeah, yeah, few, like straight on the plane. A things started to happen from there, didn't you? The, um, our Richard's, I can't remember his name again. Oh, uh, Richard Reed's, the, Richard the shoe Reed, bomber. And yeah, there were a variety yeah, of yeah. different... But that was this year as well, wasn't it? sort of brought everything to, oh, a, to a head, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sort of we had Amfrax as well. Amfrax attacks were this year as well. It just went mad, didn't it? I don't know if that was before or not, but Potter, it was, yeah, it was just a. Different... I thought she had a museum in Holland. That's Anne Frank. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, <that> was... <laughs> it's good we can joke about this. Uh, I love the way you caught on to that. I didn't yeah. know what you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just it just changed history itself, didn't it? So you got the US invading Afghanistan, going on the hunt for Al Qaeda and Bin Laden. Yes. It's, it just I mean, it takes ten years to actually. Find him, doesn't it, as well? To, to how long it was? Kind of pro- yeah, yeah, find him and, and, and deal yeah, with him the, in the way that the Americans do. Is it in the but, Guinness yeah. Book of Re- Records for the biggest game of hide and, hide and seek, seek ever? ever yeah. he, he's got to be in the top five, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, like, it's, it's, a, it's a legitimate shout. There was like, Tracy, know, like, Tracy like Mon- from uh, Coronation <laughs> Street, wasn't there? She went upstairs when she was about eight <laughs> yeah. and then she came down at 24. <laughs> yeah. It's that like that Monty it. Python sketch, you know, have you ever seen that where they play um, <laughs> so, hide and seek? Yeah. And they like play a game of hide and seek, and they go like travel around the world, and they <laughs> go, we? and they're like looking all around the world. He's hiding in this castle, like I don't know, in in Ireland or something like that. And you got him looking all around the world. He's years later, he's grown a beard and everything <laughs> like that. And they finally find him hiding in the corner of this castle, and they go, You're it. "Oh, it's a tie." <laughs> <laughs> That's a great punchline. <laughs> oh man, alive! Yeah. So yeah, it was it was one of those things that you kind of never forget. You know where you were. Mm. But you you kind of don't want to wax too much about it just because obviously yeah, yeah no, it was it was it was, it was, horrible, it was horrific it time, and it yeah. should be kind of obviously recognised as ghastly okay. but less um yeah unless anyone's got anything particular they want to say maybe got, we, well I went differently I found a, a sort of a, a website that gave me some alternative news so so is well, this actual factual or just no it's actual factual <laughs> it's done by ABC in America so. oh well in that case <laughs> it so, must yeah, be factual yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to be pretty darn good so right, strap in exactly. everybody uh, hit us with some some ABC news then Dale. well there obviously Bin Laden was very popular but apparently there was a puppet of a you know evil Bert from Bert and Ernie mm-hmm. yeah apparently that was a, a Bin Laden puppet done as well and there's a scandal for Wolf Files they looked into the rumour that Bert and Ernie w- were gay as well there's a lot of Bert and Ernie sort of um, hey, Bert Bert and Ernie. Ernie. yeah well yeah it's has anybody seen my friend Bert uh, do you know what they were named after Bert and Ernie no. Oh, Ooh. intriguing. No, Ooh. go on. Two tax drivers from... No, the, the two coppers, I think, from It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Burn nice on. knowledge. Great. They're great names, mate. Okay. Again, if I could bought two cats yeah. tomorrow, they'd be up, that'd be Straight up. Straight away, Bert, yeah, aren't they? Burn, yeah, Bert, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's that or Dick and Dom, isn't it? So. Dick and Dom, yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, there was uh, ideas for, like, vacations in space... Major results like Sands looked into like I don't know, uh, but they were legitimately looking, yeah, looking up things in, on uh, into the moon, uh, not in the moon, but into space. In looking space generally, itself. yeah, they wow. thought it could potentially happen by a certain date. Um, this is. I assume we're still looking into that. This the, oh, this is ridiculous. The National Association for Continents estimated that we spend an average of one hour on the toilet a day. That back. This is back then in two thousand. That was before you had access to mobile phones that could. Yeah, yeah the it's internet, got to be two hours probably. now. Yeah, so least, yeah, I'd say four or five now. Yeah, easily. It's, it's, it's my it's my happy place. Um, oh, this is this was a study showed that only half of all uh, psychics knew that it was National Psychic. <laughs> they should have seen so, that. Coming, yeah, so they? again, one of them. Um, again, this uh, place called uh, Batesville Casket Co. I did happy funerals. This was weird. So, like, you, some people were getting like Miles Davis, Miles Davis, the jazz uh, yeah. uh, 
artists he was like themed sort of funeral boxing rings were being there was catering for all this sort of nonsense and it was just yeah just, for, just for, a bit to of make a your funeral slightly different yeah and like a, a, a bo- guy had a boxing referee and like I don't know, it's wow. like, I don't yeah I guess I, I guess he waved it off he's, he's not yeah, getting throw, up throwing the yeah, towel in he's not getting up yeah. so yeah wow. and um, the other thing I've got some silly, stupid records for you uh, do you know what the largest whoopee cushion was? Oh, so oh, in terms of what area or volume? Area. Oh, I'd say. I'll give you give you meters. Give it three. There's meters or feet. I've got I'm, meters I'm going, and feet. I'm going three hundred cubic feet. Cool, oh, Christ! I'm going eight meters. Are you really? Hmm. Seven point six two meters. I feel like I overestimated. <laughs> <laughs> Quite significant. Again, I great, don't know why. Great shout, Phil. Oh, okay, Do you no, own no. this whoopee cushion? Yes. How you know. That's right. it. And the last one I got is the most hamburgers eaten in three minutes by a guy who's come up before. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this we, is like the hot dog guy. Yeah, three yeah, really. minutes. Three. three so minutes. these are complete. Oh, hot, so hot dog complete complete was one hundred and twenty, wasn't it? In a minute, he did one hundred and twenty. Yeah. If I remember rightly, it's loads. It'll be interesting to see what you come up with. On this. So if these are like little sliders. They can all go in one quick drink in three minutes. Are they like McDonald's hamburgers? I, I didn't say. So it's one hundred and eighty seconds. I reckon you've got to take maybe three. I'm going to say forty-eight. Forty-eight. Phil, what that seems that, a you went 100. You wasn't that wasn't it 120 hot dogs I'm in a minute? Sure, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm very much underestimated. After going really big on the whoopee cushion, I'm toning it down for this one. Hamburgers, three minutes. Three minutes. I'm gonna wait, go. wait, when you find out the answer, you 104. No. Either I'm going to be disgusted or impressed. So Jim's the closest. It's 12. Huh? Oh, they must Swirl. be fairly sized. I've I've kind of gone with like a little yeah. slide. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with, they hot, with hot dogs, they, they they kind of guzzle them. They don't really swallow they them. Sort of, they just slide down. down. Yeah, but we've, you've actually got to chew them. You've got to chew it. Yeah. And this uh, was a guy, uh, Taku, uh, Takuru uh, Kobayashi. Okay. So I think yeah, that was the hot dog. I, I, I reckon we yeah. we, we overestimate the size. I reckon, of the yeah, it's up for it. Yeah. It's up if it's a quarter pounder though, twelve is like that's three pound of meat. Yeah. So it doesn't say what size hamburger. Yeah. Hot, but even if it's could be huge. Pounder, that's be, three yeah. pound of meat Does half in pound, three minutes. That's what I was going to Half pounder. I remember that used to be a thing. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen a half pounder. Yeah. And I don't do not? that more, did I? Yeah, I, I, like, honestly, yeah. I, I don't like, think I There's do always quarter pounders, but always there used pounders. to be a half pounder up. option. Yeah, yeah, they did, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. So, um, oh, oh well, they, they definitely do them in one of the um, late night takeaways in Rayleigh. Oh, there you go. That's, that's, that's a pounder. Hat, hats off to Alibaba's. <laughs> yeah Spons- oh, shout out sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> Kubrick's Microwaves <laughs> <laughs> wow good records though I like that I'm, I might have to have a go at the, uh, the burger one yeah I, mean, I could do 12 McDonald's hat burgers oh yeah definitely three minutes yeah well they're basically that's sh- what I was thinking of sugar and toenails aren't they there's no well, real yeah, you've got to think about how much you consume at your average barbecue yeah yeah to be fair you couldn't the, the bread alone yeah just that's what I mean explodes, it's explodes a lot. You up, yeah, yeah. It? yeah it doesn't sound a lot but that's yeah, yeah that that is, but in three yeah. minutes it's still fairly impressive oh 100% God, yeah. that's four a minute oh yeah, yeah whatever four so. burgers is in a minute that's it's not that's not bad going but we're going to, um, what we'll do, we'll record Phil taking on the challenge and uh, <laughs> yeah. post it on that YouTube or something. Well, yeah. that, that, that. that could be a good show. Yeah. We should all do it. Oh my God, we're going to do it. We're yeah, gonna, we should we're all gonna do it. We're going to buy a shitload of burgers and burgers. watch ourselves throw up, essentially, yeah, is what we're much. doing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, we'll have a go on that. 12. No. Well, yeah. Where's, that, where's, where's our secretary? Note that down, yeah. Miss <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Miss Do- Jones. Doreen Jones. I was no. listening to the first episode back a while back. You yeah, had a real thing for Doreen Jones, didn't we? Right? Oh, actually, <laughs> funny. <Jones. laughs> it was a little bit, wasn't it? <laughs> funny you should take us back to the first episode because I was going to do the same. <gasps> I've well, got a bit of news which for? goes back to the first episode. Oh, okay. Can you remember um, that far back, Dale, when we were absolutely so appalled at this rather than just it was, <laughs> Dale, it, it was Dale who mentioned this. In okay. the first episode, he said about the Leaning Tower Pizza closing. Oh, he did, oh, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it so reopened. In 2001, it reopened. Really? 11 years time. later. So 11 years really? to yeah. fix it. It reopened, yeah. Ooh, Holy moly. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. That's a spicy meatball. I love the fact we're bringing it back now. Yeah. We've got recurring Ooh. themes. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Holy mackerel, we've been professional. We're proper, pro- so proper did, pros. Did they take, did they take the scaffold, <laughs> scaffolding down? They immediately no, they, fell over. Yeah. yeah, they had to do, like, obviously, uh, reconstruction. And they reckon it will last 200 years before it topples over or something like that. <laughs> so they say. Really? Like, all builders overestimate, yeah. don't they? <laughs> yeah. I'll give it another fortnight. Who done this job? <laughs> yeah. They all come in tutting in Italian. Yeah. Oh, you should, man, have, man, should have picked us. 200 years, so it falls down. Wow. 200 years, three and a half I'm guessing it's, yes. is it still leaning now? I'm, I'm not. 
Oh, yeah, it's always a lean. Yeah. If you don't have the leaning tower, then you haven't got... Well, if yeah, you there's got the leaning, um, the leaning tower, pizza. Yeah. Tower of Pizza. It's just there's, Pizza. There's a couple of rivals, though, that are leaning Tower of Pizza. Yeah, that's, that is uh, good. Yeah, that's, that that's is leaning good. more. That was yeah. a Tower Records, wasn't it? Tower of Pizza. The whole thing was just subsided into the marshes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like that. Uh, nice little like, visit from the past. That's yeah, I thought that a was warm a hug, little, Phil. A little segue from yourself. I thought I'd, I'd take the opportunity. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Got iTunes. It was released by Apple in 2001. Wow. Still going strong. It's, it's almost like we're getting mm. up to date now a bit. Yeah. But it's still 20 years ago. Know. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. So uh, was that, were they the first downloaders or? Probably. They owned it, didn't they? They owned the market yeah, quickly. Very much yeah, like. this is when you started to get the old like wind mix and stuff like that. Do you remember? Is that like the pirate, like the pirate, bay, the pirate, pirate bay yeah. and all so that. So the yeah. illegal streaming yeah. starts to really pick up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's around this time, isn't it? Once the uh, internet starts to get more yeah. advanced. Very much so. But, um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's about all I've got, really. Um, I've got a couple of little bits and pieces that I can uh, run you through. Yeah, go on. It was uh, not all excitement, like uh, iTunes opening. Um, Foot and mouth crisis was sweeping the nation. Mm. Uh, some ridiculous amount of cows. About 20 years cold, or so, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Yeah, it was insane. But it was just like non stop, wasn't it? Wherever you looked, it was something grim in the news, it seemed. Um, Man United, speaking of grim, Man United won the third <laughs> Premier League in a row wow. um, and then decided they're not good enough after winning three in a row. We'll buy the best striker at the time, which was Rude Van Nistelrooy. Is that when they bought him? 2001. Wow. 2001. And then they bought Sebastian Veron as well. Really? He didn't do too very. He didn't do didn't too, too great, well. but they were just throwing money at things left, right, and centre. Danny Stroy was a good striker, wasn't he? He was, yeah, yeah, striker. He was great for, him, for only nineteen million back then. I think that price, it was all to it? do with his knee, wasn't it? Yeah, because they went. To, I think they, they went, went to him the year before. Yeah, and he, yeah. he, he, he done his knee in yeah, pre-season, didn't yeah, he? And they, he played for PSV, didn't he? I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. I remember they went to buy him, and he fucked his knee up or something. But then he was still he was still good when he came. He was still pretty hefty, wasn't he? Yeah, he did quite well for them, as I seem to remember. Uh, Liverpool had won the FA Cup with a 2 1 win over Arsenal. Oh, that was Owen, wasn't it? Because that was Michael Owen in the last minute of yeah, yeah, injury yeah. time. Yeah, it's a breaking great cup hearts. final. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was the first one at the Cardiff Millennium yeah. Stadium because yeah. obviously they were doing up Wembley at the that's time. Right. Um, what else can I tell you? A guy paddled a kayak across the Atlantic unaided. Really? I mean, imagine that. It's yeah, just it's ludicrous. Insane, yeah. So all the other crossings had to lose up sails and stuff just while they slept, just to get them a bit further along. He paddled the whole damn way. It's crazy. Realised he'd left the gas on halfway across, turned back, <laughs> went back, turned it off, and then carried on. Going uh, back to sorry, going back to cool. Liverpool in the FA Cup. Check. I seem to remember. I think they won the triple that year. Cups. They didn't did the, they? the cups. They, they won the European Cup and the Carling Cup, didn't they? That's it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's exactly right. Good memory. Good memory indeed, mm. Mr. Reynolds. He knows his onions. This guy. Um, can you uh, use that memory to remember um, Princess Diana's butler who was charged with nicking loads of stuff Paul from Burrell. her? Paul Burrell. Yeah. Paul Burrell. Okay. The naughty butler got charged with stealing items from her. Did he really? He did indeed. That's weird, isn't it? Outrageous. Isn't it? There was, it turns out it was either people blowing shit up, mm. stuff going really wrong with like cows and sheep, or very naughty people in the public eye. It's yeah. like Geoffrey Archer. Was locked away for perjury. Wasn't it and like stuff? the beginning of the people like Paul Burrow and that's uh, selling their stories, bit sleazy and stuff? Or, yeah, so it all got a bit like yeah, but you you found out stuff you didn't really need to tabloid know. shit that you didn't really need. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, well, that was all the media, wasn't it? Was yeah, the, the, they were well, gasping for that kind celebrity, of celebrity yeah. obsession. Was as it? they went to kind of like so as Sky came on board more and more, and you went to that kind of rolling news and stuff. Yeah. So it was like anything to fill the airtime, really, yeah. wasn't it? So it's like. Any old tawdry. Hence, while when we go into TV programs from this year, we'll we'll find that kind of more the celebrity yeah. thing about that. Yeah. I'll tell you what people hate at dinner parties is when you turn up with a bird of prey instead of a bottle of wine, especially when you use the owl as a pepper grinder. Next time you go for a dinner party, grab an owl, fill it full of peppercorn, then twist its head. One or two things will happen. A you'll make everyone happy with a spicy treat, or B, you'll bake the owl's neck and be asked to leave. Choose wisely. Choose wise owls. Should we, should we talk TV? Yeah, go Let's, again. let's yeah. take let's a different that. route. Let's do it. Let's do let's that. Do oh, we're, we're, so, oh, oh, we're so bloody, bloody like rogue, aren't we? Rogue. We've gone rogue. Rogue, 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 rogue. All right. Rogue. Uh, well. Hang on, let's warn the people we're going rogue. People, we're going rogue. We're going rogue. <laughs> um, so let's talk TV from 2001 then. Oh, this um, is different. Okay. 
I've got... <laughs> I, I oh, fuck all. I don't, I, I don't want to tell you what I've got. That's more of a personal thing. Um, let's talk. Uh, Pop Stars was uh, out and about on ITV. The first of those. Was it Pop Idol or Pop Stars? I think it was Pop Stars. Pop Stars was the first one. Was it Pop Stars of Rival? Uh, that was the follow up series. Oh, okay. So the first one was the one where it, there was no one voting like the public, right. which is what it all turned into with yeah. oh. Pop Idol. Oh, sorry, what do you call it? Pop stars, Pop stars and all the rest of it. So this was the one with like three judges and they yeah. created a band, which was Hearsay. Can you remember the original judges? So you'd have had Nigel Lith... No, Nigel, what's his Nasty name? Nigel. Nasty oh, wasn't Nigel. wasn't it like Dr. Was... Fox or something like that? Well, he's, who's the... I don't think he came in. Was well, he not the original? I don't think he may be I reckon he... Was he this one or was he the one yeah, after? It was Nicky Chapman. Nicky Chapman, who was like the yeah, voice coach. Yeah. Pete Waterman, was it? Pete Waterman, yeah. yeah. But it was like, oh, well. they, they just pure and simply judged people. Pure and simple. Yeah, yeah, pure, hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hearsay reference. Um, but yeah, they, they literally judged them, didn't they? Then sort of put together the band they wanted and thought was going to be successful. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And it worked for a bit. They got a number one out of it. Yeah. And then it all went a bit south from there. Well, but was it? Two, two of them are like household. You would argue well, that, yes. Yeah, so the think, best out of them. So you've got Mylene yeah. Class, mm. who's got obviously a bit bit famous yeah. from her sort of classical side of things. She's a oh, DJ or now, or think, from isn't she? getting showered under and a waterfall. Having a shower in a waterfall <laughs> in a white bikini. Oh, yeah. And then Kim Marsh is probably Marsh, the only yeah. other one that's... She's, mm. I think she's on the next series of Strictly, isn't she? Strictly Coach she? Johnson. But she's okay. obviously in soaps she's and... She's been in Corey, and Beast, yeah, and she, so. Yeah. so, yeah, two of them have done all right. Yeah. The, the others probably fading Resent into, them. Probably fading <laughs> into obscurity and, yeah, resent every minute of every day. But there we go. Uh, Reynolds, what have you got on telly that you can tell us? Oh, I've got my probably uh, – I remember watching this at the time. It's probably my favourite TV programme at the time. was Six Feet Under. Oh, oh yeah. I used to love that. Yeah, that was a very good programme. American show, in it, about – Was that on Channel 4? Because E4 Channel launched 4. this year as well, didn't it? And they started to take that kind I of I think American it was Channel stuff. 4, though. I'm sure it was. It might have been E4, it's but I think it was show, Channel yeah. 4. Yeah. It launched in that year, yeah. But it was a great show. It's like um, obviously set around the Undertaker's yeah. family of Undertakers. Always used to start with a uh, death. That's right. Someone yeah. dying, and then it was that family was linked to that they would visit the Undertakers. Yeah. But it was all there. All, it was a really good drama. And I think it went around for about five years, and it actually has got it's got one of the very few ones where it actually has an ending. Oh, it, they actually managed to write it out yeah, rather than it being yeah, cancelled yeah. halfway through. Kind of yeah, because they oh, nice. it basically. Well, yeah, it's not really a spoiler in any way, it's a, but it basically fast forwards to them all growing old or dying pretty much and shows okay. you their deaths and stuff like that as well. Like, but it was there's no way coming back from that. No, is no, there, it's guess, really yeah. good, really good program. I used to, yeah, like I say, I used to really like that. It's a great little um, show. Scrubs. Now, Scrubs, oh, I Scrubs. really like Scrubs. See, I never really watched it. I, 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 mm. it's, it's one of the programs when it's on, I kind of like it, but I never really got into it. Because it's kind of disposable, 20 minute long yeah. American comedy. No, I really, really yeah, like I love Scrubs. Scrubs. I love Scrubs. And it's also, you don't realise how much um, psychology is in Scrubs. Mm. In, in every episode and throughout, he, he's obviously narrating it as he's going along, but. There's always little messages around it, and there's always conclusions. Oh, okay. It's yeah. always psychology. Which means like, what? It's like He Man at the end when he says <laughs> <laughs> he wraps it yeah, up. Yeah, nice yeah. That's a moral. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. always a marvel involved. Yeah, but 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 I like that. But it's just <laughs> I gag wise character. Yeah, I, I love Scrubs. It's again, it's uh, it's really good. Like the, yeah, the, the it's secondary ones actually. as well. Yeah, yeah. so it goes it goes a little bit too far. Like a lot. Of yeah, things, they, but, they they tend yeah. to. Whilst it was working, they kind of just melted, yeah, didn't they? But you've but, got the three main protagonists. But it's like I like the um. The, the quartet that come in, like the, um, yeah. the barbershop quartet yeah, and stuff. Yeah, all the side and all characters. All the really little bits and pieces. The janitor the and The janitor's that, great yeah, and stuff, and, isn't and it? It's yeah. all pretty much... Yeah, it wasn't just the beginning. Really good. Doc, even the, like Dr. Cox. Dr. Cox and, and then, good, yeah. yeah. JD is obviously... I like the way he, the daydream uh, the yeah. daydream turns into sketches, doesn't it? It's yeah. just surreal sketches, yeah, but absolutely. you can do it. Cause they could go dead. down a different little path. It's yeah. very cleverly done. I tried to get my, um, my son into it, and he was just like... It, because there's so many references... Of that of time, that time yeah. Yeah. it ages things, and that's the unfortunate just goes thing. Goes over the head, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So he just was like, "I don't, I'm not liking this one." Mm. Um, something that has uh, held up quite well, though, The Office oh, started yeah. this year. Yeah. That was great. I mean, mm. it's ridiculously good, wasn't it? For two two series, I remember. I remember I, yeah. It's one. It's one. I remember like when it first came on, and I remember it being on BBC Two. Yes, and then yeah. them saying about, and at the time, comedy was wasn't very good. 
and then saying, oh, there's a new comedy show. And Ricky Gervais, no one really knew of him. No, absolutely. And they said, a new comedy it. show. And I thought, oh, do you know what? Give, they advertise it. I thought, I'll give it a shout. I just forgot. I just remember just like, yeah, watch it. This just, is it, yeah. Oh, this is this is fucking brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it was just, it was so different. I know mm. it's it's hard to say it's so different because everyone's copied it since. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. at the at time, the time. It, yeah, was it was so yeah. different. It was yeah, just yeah. like no one done anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Because it's so like fly on the wall was, documentary. Yeah. They thought it was true, didn't they? There were lots of people that thought yeah. it was a documentary and stuff. So and stuff. well done. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, oh, it's um, brilliant. It wasn't like screaming for like gags, was it? No, there's no, no like. No, it was just an awkward. It was an it was awkward just... character, wasn't it? Yeah. That yeah. was it. It was like he was funny, but if you worked for him, he'd be a fucking nightmare. Absolutely, yeah, of course. So you kind of it was like cringe comedy when it was just yeah. like, oh god, it's. But it's ah, oh, it was it was brilliant. I still. Uh, and it, obviously, I only did twelve of them. Obviously, and plus the Christmas specials. But absolutely, uh, it's brilliant. New, Love new it. Still one of the best comedies I think really is, ever yeah. done, ever absolutely. written. Speaking of uh, spoofy stuff, there was that Brass Eye episode as well on paedophilia. <laughs> I think we've <laughs> yeah. kind of referenced in various yeah, other ones because it's yeah. just it's one of those ones that really makes us all laugh. Laugh. But yeah, this yeah. was the, the year it actually happened. <laughs> so right. Like, yeah, it's dark as hell. The amount of complaints <laughs> they got and stuff, and just and they and then Channel Four doubled down and like played it again the next night just to <laughs> really like, <laughs> like ram it home. Yeah. It's like oh, it's just such a good little sketch. <laughs> the whole thing paedophile in space isn't it's it? just yeah. it's just so many types of wrong but it's so good <laughs> so 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 good it really made me laugh but yeah that was um, that was little bits and pieces there was uh, other comedies and stuff that sort of started uh, Abfab came back after five years away oh, did it? which is oh, okay. always always good value um, what else have we got um, got Phoenix Nights Phoenix yeah, Nights Phoenix yes Nights that was the chat yes. that was good right? again just two two series of that wasn't it that yeah was yeah so, so good yeah that was great um, I've got teachers that. down as well I used to like teachers yes yeah I had teachers down yeah, as well yeah. on Channel 4 that was his boss mm. down wasn't it from um, Walking well, Dead wasn't it Andrew Lincoln uh, yeah, Andrew yeah, Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. It? yeah it was great yeah. yeah really good it's really sharp and well written that one and then Banzai on E4, do you remember? Oh, yeah. What was it about? It was just nonsense. Wasn't was that it? on the it's Friday just, night or yeah. something? It's like a shaky hands band and stuff. Yeah, it's all the stuff yeah. you remember. It's just like really odd. It's just how yeah. long can you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Was it. I know it's obviously done by Asian people, but is it kind of a bit racist? I, I suppose is it is. Is it stereotypical? Are they. Was they were the guy. Were the actors playing to stereotypes? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. That's what I mean. Say, I can't I remember. It, yeah. That's. that's well, but the fact of you say shaky hands, like, that's the only one that I can. I can yeah, truly I remember, remember that one. Well. But that's not racist anyway. It could be anyone doing yeah, shaky hands. No, sort of... no, that's what I mean. I can't remember. Much no, I can't that, remember but, much. But that's the one I remember. Be, yeah, yeah. A, a, an Asian actor that was doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think you could just get away with that kind of weird. So was it? Did we mention the year before? Um, oh, it's the one with the big telephone and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, Dom yeah, Jolly, yeah, yeah. Dom Jolly, so Trigger Happy, Trigger Happy TV. It yeah. all kind of came off that, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, like putting people yeah. in that weird, awkward, yeah. awkward positions and stuff. But yeah, that was really good fun. Yeah, and two pints of lager as well, actually on the BBC. Yeah, that was. Oh, awesome. I never liked I never, that. Yeah, I never got I never into liked that as well. It. But um, if but he, he is yeah. big, wasn't it? It yeah. was. It was fairly big. Yeah. Obviously, it launched like Sheridan Smith, mm. and yeah, Will Miller and stuff into the into the world. But yeah, that was always good. Mm-hmm. Anything yeah. from you, Richie D? Yes, I've got a few things. Um... One of them is uh, Anne Robinson goes on oh, Room yeah. 101. Oh, right. oh, I know this one. And she puts Welsh people yeah, she did. to cause outrage. Yeah. So I think The Weakest Link started this year as well. Uh, last year. Last, no, year. Last, year. Oh, last, last one, yeah. Yeah, so she's sort of on the... She's riding a bit she's of a, a wave. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's got a bit too big for her boots. Very much so, yeah. Uh, well, that yeah, caused right. outrage, did it, her doing that? Amongst Obviously yeah, by the Welsh people. Yeah, she's got death threats. She's so got yeah, a few yeah. death threats. Is that, um, I'd pop world with Simon Amstel started. Oh, yeah. Um, again, they used to just bring on celebrities and just rip them. Yeah. And they wasn't like massive celebrities, but because because that because they wasn't massive celebrities, they could absolutely rip them. And it's quite some of it was quite hard to watch. Presumably, yeah, they're, they're all on just to try and plug something or raise. Yeah, their and he was just ri- like, he was just ripping. He was them. very he sharp. When he yeah, he yeah, wasn't really having sharp. any of it, was he? Um, that, was like a, that was like a precursor to when he was doing. Buzzcocks. Yeah, Buzzcocks. Yeah. I think yeah, that's what got him the gig. And I think actually, when you watch him do the stand up, you realise he's not that guy at all. No, he was like kind of playing a character. So it's kind of a bit, yeah, it's a bit bit of a tough one, that is. Uh, Will and Grace started, Malcolm in the Middle started. Yes. It's a big American uh, comedy. I, I quite enjoy Will and Grace. Will and Grace haven't really um, 
sort of I don't love it but I quite enjoy it it's one of the ones it's, I can yeah, watch it's thoroughly watchable stuff isn't it and it still sort of holds up another one this is a really random show uh, Amand, the Armando Anucci show oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the writer of Partridge Partridge yeah, it's, it's really it. surreal it's weird, but I love it There's some some of the stuff in it is just so great but it's not it's not going to be for everyone no, so, no yeah. Yeah, it's well the same way that Partridge and all the rest of it, it appeals yeah. to all of us doesn't it but it's, mm. it never gets massive no viewing. this it's one was in um, Celebrity Big Brother as well. Do you know who won the first series of Mr. CBB? Jack D, wasn't it? Did oh, he it really? Escaped, was it? Yes, yeah, uh, so this was the yeah, one where it was, it was right. tied to Bloody like hell, a really? com- or Escapes, comic relief, then, wasn't it? Yeah, and then you had so the they weird... didn't spend very long in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's only like a few days, wasn't yeah. it? And the second series kind of rolls out to like two weeks. And yeah, it kind of got... it's quite yeah, uncomfortable, right. wasn't it? Watching Van- Vanessa, wasn't it? Yeah, she was having a yeah. proper breakdown. Was that the first one? Was that that one? Stuff on the chalkboards and stuff. Was that the first one? I can't uh, be. She can't have been there five days at a breakdown. She wasn't in there long. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Mate. It was. Um, I, don't know. She I remember Jack D winning it. Yeah, yeah, Jack D. Jack D. Was that that long ago? Crazy, isn't it? Does make does make you realise? Uh, yeah. it was quite a, quite a while back. Crikey. Uh, same year. Who shot Phil Mitchell? Do you remember that storyline? Rumble. Oh, it was his wife. It was, yeah, it was Louise it? or whatever. Lucy name was. Benjamin. Lucy, yeah, I don't yeah. know what her character name was, but yeah. Yeah. His wife shoots him on the stairs, and he tumbles down and gives it the fall. Tipsy. tipsy. Oh, Tipsy Mitchell. Tipsy Mitchell. <laughs> it's like, great I remember it's like a gun out of a bush, isn't yeah, it? It was yeah, like a, yeah, and, yeah. It, and it had it loads well, of... Why is it, yeah. in like a green bush or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah as yeah, opposed yeah. to, remember, she wasn't hiding it in a... a and I remember it had, like, had like an ending where <laughs> different people were knocking at doors right. and stuff like yeah. that. So everyone's going, she just didn't know who it was. I was like, a <laughs> load of rubbish. Really it. trying hard, weren't they? But man alive, yeah. It kept, it kept the nation apparently gripped. And he's still going strong, Phil Mitchell. Mm-hmm. He he is the the soap maybe not so much, <laughs> yeah. but it's definitely uh, definitely must, waning he, away, yeah, isn't it? He must have been paid a lot to keep him there over the years. You'd think so, wouldn't yeah. you? It's not. It can't be the uh, the great storylines no. or the. But then saying that, the critical well, success. He's not exactly going to break into sort of. Yeah. Is he going to get off? Maybe, maybe Hollywood uh, it's role? Hollywoods. Yeah, he's 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 no Harrison gonna Ford, get, is he? Is he going to get a cop drama with Matthew McConaughey? Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers <laughs> True crossed. True detective. <laughs> That's what he's, that is what he's hanging out for, isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, so. One day, one day, I'll bloody. It was mate. between Woody Harrelson or Steve <laughs> McFadden. <laughs> <laughs> the last two. Can you imagine they literally. Ooh. We can't split them. We'll just toss a coin. <laughs> yeah, he was that oh, close. Lucky Woody. He was that close <laughs> to making it, wasn't he? Steve goes back to that. the EastEnders set with his tail between his legs. <laughs> yeah. You know, I said stick your job. Yeah, can, good. I, can I have it back? Yeah, <laughs> it turns out it didn't work out quite as well as I thought it was going <laughs> to. Uh, speaking of not working out, uh, Major Charles Ingram. Thought he'd won a million pounds. Oh, yeah. This is the coffer. This is the cough, cough, mm. cough, cough from uh, yeah. whatever his name was, Tequin, Tech, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and the guy was, yeah, coughing at the right answers. Dodgy as sin, wasn't it? But they got found out, they had did. to return all the cash. Mm. I think he just narrowly avoided jail, didn't they? Did he? Naughty, naughty <laughs> people. Return a million pounds. So like, there you go, there's yeah. your million back. I wonder if we, he spent any of it. He must have done We also. spent about 11 pounds on, yeah, exactly. on a couple of cocktails in the bar, but here's the rest of it. Yeah, it was madness. And then um, ITV, I've got here, ran Pop Idol straight after the, the Pop Stars thing. So that oh, kind okay. of set the ball rolling, sure, as it were. Um, and Will Young beat Gareth Gates. Oh, okay. I thought it was like Pinky Pig. And then, yeah, Darius Darius Dinesh came in third, who's obviously just recently died as well. Very sad. But yeah, that is... Not, not a good way to end. Is there anything else you've got on the list? Come on. Uh, yeah, let's not end on Let's not end on that. Let's not end on that. Uh, so I'm just going to go for a programme I didn't really like, but 24. Oh, I yeah. Also started that, yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. Bit, a bit of key oh, if we're doing that, then... I just, know, I just you... didn't want to end on Darius's yeah, death. Yeah, another one. Okay, on that, yeah. I'll raise you a lost. Oh, was oh, that yeah, 2001? That, that started on Sky yeah, 1 and then moved that? across to Channel 4, Channel 4 or the yeah. other way round. Because that started off really good. Yeah, like the first few episodes, everybody yeah, was like, "Oh, what's going on here?" Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then, he just, and then they didn't have a fucking yeah, clue. Yeah, they were doing this, just, just <laughs> writing it as they went along. Yeah. Like, Should we? I don't know like a it black. Was a, it was like J J Abrams, wasn't That's it? I think, and yeah. it was like the premise of it was really like had everyone hooked. So the yeah. the, the trailer and that was like, oh, this is like full oh, of mystery. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And it was really good. And then yeah, it just yeah. Oh, it's like the went from really good to absolute. There was another, the other one, the whole Dharma Initiative. Heroes, you remember Heroes? Yeah, yeah. One that's just sort of like, oh, yeah, it's sort of got, going on got, here. I just got, got good, to the point, I just good got, potential, and then you just yeah, with 
Hayden. Yeah. Is it Hayden? That's what happened. I think right is just shave the, up. Shave, shave the cheerleader and all that stuff. Shave the, che- shave the cheerleader. That would have been a brilliant. I think, show. I think it was that. That was the period when it was writers coming up with good ideas, but not yeah, actually knowing not quite how to execute them. Yeah. 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 And then yeah, it, I think right. as as the time went on, it, they learned their lesson a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Have an ending in sight and work backwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that wasn't the best. too long. And then not too long after, yeah. Do you remember the massive Hollywood writers strike? Yeah. 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 Everything sort of just paused, didn't it? All the way. But that's that's. That's what they say as well, kicked off TV as well, doesn't it? Although I think TV kicked off earlier than that, but oh, right, that's what yeah. started. Then people went into TV. Right, okay. And that's what like kind of started the revolution of golden okay. age of TV, is what oh, they say. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that makes sense. That's a nicer way to end, the golden yeah. age of TV. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. We'll, t- we'll take that. Yeah, let's end Lovely. on that. Let's end on that. That's a, that's yeah. a nicer one. Yeah. Well done. Good review of TV, lads. Good review. Hey, Sebastian, your dad loves yoghurt. He's sick in the head, mate. He gets it all matted in his Tom Selleck-like chest there. And he asked me mum to get it out with her one tooth. Fuck your dad and fuck yoghurt. Okay, fellas, we rumble along with the 2001 episode. And we've reached that time where we talk about films. So let's go, as is customary, um, to Mr Philip Reynolds for his top three films of the year. Mr. Reynolds. Top three films of the year. This is a strange one, actually, I think. In terms of? Um, just average what, films. Qual- quality or quantity? or Yeah, I don't think it was brilliant, to be fair, if I'm going to be honest. Well, Do you want a few honourable mentions or are we come to come back to these? Which way should, what do you reckon, Tell? Should we go uh, honourable mentions? Let's go don't, back for the... Let's only come because back we don't know. Yeah, yeah, one of us will have yeah. them, I guess. So, yeah, right. let's, let's stick with your three, then. Mate. So, number three... Zoolander. I'm going for Zoolander. Mm. Very good film. Very funny film yeah, at the time. Absolutely. Still like, still watch it when it's on. Yeah, it still makes me laugh. It's very easy watching, isn't it? Absolutely. Don't watch number two, but number one is very Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we never mm. watch number two. Uh, number two, Monsters, Inc. I like yeah. Monsters, Inc. I, do, I like Monsters, Inc. It's a very good film. I love Monsters, Inc. But that, again, mm. that didn't come up on my list no? at all. I like Monsters, Inc. I like yeah. the ending as well. Very good ending. One of the best final lines it's a, it's, a, it's a great little film, actually, yeah. Very good. And then number one is Donnie Darko. Very good. Cult classic. They're very uh, very similar to what... Yeah. And I don't know. It's really hard to explain Donnie Darko because I watched it again today. It's not my it's, cup of tea. I know that. Oh, it's, it's just... Yeah, it's... it's never. It's you. really good. I love it still. Well, but if you I, told me what it was about... I'd say it's a time-travelling film. Well, it kind of is, isn't it? It's, it's, and there's a lot of theories on it. I was looking at the theories yeah. today, and it's all about parallel universes and stuff yeah, like that. it's not... Even at the end... So it's not just about rabbits? Uh, <laughs> no. no. Okay. But no, it, I missed it. You can it's almost great. make up your own ending, can't you? It's got, it's, it has actually got, just got loads of theories. Time yeah. travel, schizophrenia, dreams... Uh, different universes. He's actually he can he can he has powers where he can do this and that. But yeah, that's what I mean. when you like, say yeah. it like that, it sounds like a superhero film or something. Like that. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's not. It's just a, about it, yeah. It? It's no. just a drama and it's it's really well done. It's just, it's got a real lot of mystery about yeah. it. Yeah. So even the bits with like um, even roles like Swayze and that you don't yeah, really see that that's bizarre. coming as well. No, I never, and like fair place to Swayze for taking that because that was out of his. Like, yeah, so right out the wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Very. I like say so I watched it again today just to see if because I've not seen it for years. Mm. But it still stacks up in your. Yeah, but I don't know why. It's really weird. <laughs> it's a really bit. good film. Like yeah. it has everything. It keeps you like you once you're watching it, you've got mm. to stay on it. Yeah, it's got a great soundtrack as well. Really good soundtrack. All right. Yeah, it's all like, like an, that always makes or breaks. It's all like the film, tears for yeah, fears. Yeah, that tears for fears yeah, bit where yeah. it goes through the school and he introduces all the characters. Yeah, it's got um, Seth, you know, Seth Rogen's in that film as well. Yeah, it's his he, first film. Doesn't he play like a bully? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, but yeah, that's the, it's got and tears got for fears. Echo and the Bunny Echo Moon, the Bunny yeah. Moon yeah. Killing Moon, Killing Moon. Yeah, that's nice. a great song. It's really good, really good soundtrack. Um. What's the yeah, um, great film? Oh, what is the Tears for Fears song? Uh, I, I, like, I looked back I at Tears for Fears. It's not Mad World, is it? That's the one they No, it's not yeah, Mad World. No, no, no oh. someone does a cover of that. That's Gary Jules. That's Gary Jules, yeah. yeah. Um, but, oh, oh, Head Over Heels. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. a great yeah. song. Yeah. But yeah, it's got In Excess as well. Yeah. It's in that. Yeah, it's yeah, true. It's yeah. got a good, really it's good like, soundtrack. It's oh, alternative so. 80s. Like, it's that part of the 80s people forget. Like, you yeah. know, Phil says in excess tears for fears. Forget the stock ache yeah, of Waterman there's that, stuff and all the, yeah. I don't know if the Smiths romantic is bits. on the soundtrack. No, but it's, again, that sort of alternative okay. sort of 80s sort of thing. 
But yeah, no, it's a it's a great film. And like I say, it's it's a bizarre one. You can't really explain it. I couldn't really do a synopsis for you. Yeah. But, uh, but it just works. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Same yeah. about it. Yeah. It's got a lot of, like mystique about it and uh, good acting. Too shy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. It is. Uh, I'll add it to the ever-growing list. I right. seem to get out of these things. But. Yeah, it's a it's a good film. It's a the proper thinking film. I thought it was from my assumption was that it was kind of not horror, but that kind of weird. Yeah. No. Stuff it's, that kind of it's so many, brain there's so many layers to the film. Yeah. 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 As like I say, it's yeah, from, okay. from time travel, mental illness to like just the whole just. To a high school flick, there's there's back and forth. It's, there's so much to it. Like feels as parallel universes, whatever. And then so and then at the end of it, it's you. Yeah. What what is it that you think happened? What is it? Yeah, oh, okay. I quite like that. I you quite like that. Film. Your own yeah, you stuff. Can, yeah, yeah. It doesn't give you an answer really. It's kind of one of the ones that end, and you go, oh, mm. <laughs> but in a good way. Kind yeah. of. Thing. I, like, I quite like that sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I'm like, oh, well, sometimes I'll shit that was. Deflate you and just make yeah. You feel but something. Oh, but... I, I like the way they've done that, and okay. that, like, that's kind of that the way. I, well, that's how I took it anyway. It's good. Yeah. Fair uh So just confirm your three, easy then. So I've got Zoolander at three. Yeah. Monsters Inc at two, and Donnie Dark at one. That's quite a range, isn't it? That is a range. Yeah, you've covered all bases. Mm. Let's see what uh, Mr. Dello can. Um, offer it's, us. it's actually very similar. Okay. Um, but I in... when I say similar, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I copied um, his homework. So. <laughs> yeah. I've gone for Lord of the third. My third choice is Lord of the Rings: Fellowship of the Ring. Yep, the first in the yeah. The I was actually, I, I mean, when I saw this film, actually, I was kind of like, I didn't know about Tolkien. I didn't know about the books. And um, did you never watched actually, the original animated one. Did you never see that? No, I never saw that. I didn't really know. People tell uh, tell me about watching the. The Bilbo Baggins and this and that and the watching the the uh, Frodo and everything like that on the the, the cartoon, mm. but yeah no I um, so I didn't have that in mind so I just watched this and I literally was blown away from watching the film. Since then, it's I think a bit like with the other franchises. Yeah, it's been so overkill when they've done the Hobbit and everything. Like I've kind of like they're so Ooh. young as well, aren't they? They yeah, are. Yeah. Real- um, Real, real butt maker. But, but this, is, this, yeah. this is the one when it's on, and I love the, the layer, layers to it. I love the quest, and I love, I love Ian McKellen as Gandalf in this when he's first introduced. Ian Holm, there's that's such a great, and actually, um, Elijah, is it Elijah Wood? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Elijah Wood as um, as Frodo. It's kind of like and even Sean Austin as well because. Like, he gets the kind like, of the piss ripped out of him a little bit with the whole. Yeah, know, he does, but Rossi, oh, Mr. Be- Mr. Beckins. <laughs> yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. A bit where it's all garbage. It, but it's. I know. I, I just. I thought it was really great, and because of that, that's why I kept it there. There's another couple of films that I had here that would have been up here. Um, it's very close actually, but because of what I remember from yeah. it. That's why I've gone from that. Kept that straight. Okay. Um, Number two lander is Zoolander. Um, Yeah, again, I creeping up. I love this film. Again, anything from them like his friends being blown up to like kind of wham (laughs) and the petrol station to Will Ferrell's. Probably that was the first real introduction I got to Will Ferrell. As, was it Mugatu or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or fashion designer. Yeah, that's amazing. the whole yeah. thing. The fact of when they get, the, was it, is it the Apple Mac? And yeah. with the files. Yeah. And so they find the files and then like, they think they have to like release the files and then Disney Owen Wilson throws it off yeah. the top. Yeah. 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 So he destroys all the evidence. <laughs> oh, just from that to the dance off and David Bowie calls <laughs> it. It is mad, isn't it? It's yeah. Billy Zane. A walk off. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Billy <laughs> Zane. It's your friend Zane. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's just that like, it's so stupid. There's so many different So that, yeah, yeah. It's just like, I, I love it. It could have easily been my number one but yeah Donny Donny Dark oh, it's just such a unique film it's just yeah for me that's that's number one we've talked about it so yeah that hits you one there as you well go, holy yeah. mackerel mm. chaps nice you're uh, you're in a bit of unison there let me <laughs> disrupt <laughs> the status uh-huh. quo hey, what Hugh Grant <laughs> films for us <laughs> well there is a Hugh Grant film this oh, year oh keep your powder dry I fellas gonna say keep that. your powder dry and I saw this one I thought <laughs> <laughs> bench <laughs> you me <laughs> well let me talk you through my three uh, at three 
It's actually, um, um, I, I ummed and ahed, and I had a real close thing where I was like, it might be American Pie 2, and it might even have been um, One Night at McCall's, which I really Oh, liked. yeah, that's quite old. Oh, that's great Really film. liked that film. What was, was that like, on there? Yeah. Oh, is that really, Liv Tyler? That's the Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler, Tyler Matt Dillon. Michael Douglas. Matt and Dillon, Michael and Douglas, Douglas oh, yeah. John Goodman. They all love her. Yeah, so that's, that's a really cool it's film. It's great funny. Film. Film. Is that the one yeah. where it ends with the YMCA? In the room. Oh, I love that. That film. is good. Oh, I it's very, that. very I good. Yeah. And I was like, as I stumbled across it, I went, "Holy shit! How can I not get that in?" Mm. Yeah, and then, like, the, um, as you mentioned, still um, the Fellowship. And I was like, mm. "It's a, it's a massive epic film," but I just couldn't do it. Mm. I thought of a film that I could quite easily pick up and watch at any point yeah. through its kind of duration, and I went with Mean Machine. <laughs> out of nowhere and I tell you it's a Finney crap Jones. film yeah it's Vinnie Jones yeah. so it's got lots of the same guys from like the Lockstock yeah, and the Snatch yeah. and all the rest of it it's more the supporting what, cast and what, stuff what Jason Statham as, as the monk as the monk the mad Scottish Goal- goalkeeper <laughs> and we all know a mad does he goalkeeper do a good, does he do a good Scottish accent it's an accent? awful Scottish accent but he's just an, a psychotic lunatic um, and then obviously you've got like um, the two commentators, so Jason Fleming oh, yeah, is yeah. in it. And oh, it's okay, it's the yeah. similar thing where we mentioned best in show last episode. Yeah, They've got a commentator thing in that where they're just the funniest bit oh, in okay. it. Similar sort of thing. Yeah. It's really, it's a crap film, but I will watch it happily yeah, all the time, all the time oh, and okay. stuff. And then um, I'm just going to flag that Sally Phillips mm. is in it just briefly. Is she? Um, and it turns out she might be my unexpected crush of the noughties because mm. in at number two... Bridget Jones's diary, <laughs> and she's a big part of that. I said, I told you that bit. I said, have yeah, we, 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 we talked about that. You the know me. On the run. Sucker for a <laughs> yeah. UK British guy. Yes. We're on a run. Well, anything yeah. with Hugh Grant. We're on a run the other day. I go, there's a Hugh Grant film out this year. Big Jim goes for it. <laughs> and it's not Hugh Grant that I like. <laughs> it's, it just so happens that he's in it. But um, yeah, he's got the Richard Curtis kind of stamp because he sort of part writes it as well oh, okay. um, but it's more the supporting cast and it's just very watchable um, not so much for the theme tune and the soundtrack because that had Gabrielle that? well, that is, that Gabrielle and that's and It's stuff. Raining Men but that is It's from, Raining Men from yeah. Jerry Halliwell yeah, yeah. yeah. that is yeah. that yeah, it was like Gabrielle yeah. out of reach it just yeah. really annoyed the arsehole out of me that Keeps it from number one. Oh, okay. Because at number one, it's Zoolander. And we've already waxed lyrical on yeah, it. It's, it's a amazing. great film. Yeah. So mm. it, it forms number three, number two, and number one mm. yeah, in our, our role. So yeah. we can't be far wrong, it's, can we? No. Yeah, it's a great, great comedy. It's yeah. a great, great film. Yeah. Very that's, silly. Bit, that's I think that's unheard of, isn't it, for all of us? I a... think so. We've had them all. I think we've all had films in maybe the same position, but we've covered mm. all the bases with yeah. that one. So, yeah. Great little film. Mm. Oh, nice I'm, I'm yeah, a good. massive fan of um, Phil Reynolds' Blue Steel. Uh, <laughs> Blue he Steel. has got a look that can stop traffic. So uh, if we can get that recorded and Blue popped onto Steel. YouTube as well, good. we will do. It's good. But yeah. Okay. Uh, let's, do you want to mention some uh, sort of honourable mentions as well? Just because obviously we, yeah, we touched on a couple of mine. They great. I've got Training Day. Yeah, good. Yeah. Denzel yeah, Washington. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. that. So yeah. that's a good film. Mulholland Drive, probably the weirdest film of the year, without a doubt. David Lynch. David Lynch, David Lynch, bloody yeah. odd. He's really odd. I, I remember, again, a bit like Donnie Darko, you, you don't know what it's about or anything, but there's something mysterious about it. It just keeps yeah. you watching it, but it's just a bit weirder. That's probably just Lynch anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's bizarre. Uh, what have we got? Vanilla Sky, I remember going to see that. That was good. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was good. Ooh, what else we got? The score, I liked that. True again. That was... Um, Brando, De Niro and Norton. Do you remember the poster? It was like the three best actors of their generation at the time it was meant mm. to be. In it was this, quite a good film. In this. Yeah. Oh, okay. it was Average. All right. It was all right. Yeah, it weren't Average great. Film. But it was it was like billed like that when it the three yeah. best actors of their generation. Yeah. So it was like okay. Brando, Finally De Niro. together type thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was all right. What uh, about you, Richie? What, um, what, what, um, what bubbled under for you? Yeah, I was close to actually. It was only because the fact that I couldn't watch it, rewatch it, it wasn't up there, it was Beautiful Mind. Oh yeah, yeah, I really like that. With uh, it was more for the twist I, again, but I, I again, if I'd have watched it, I don't know if because I knew it was coming. What is the twist? It's Paul Bettany, isn't it? I can't remember. Oh, okay, I remember. I have seen it, but I yeah, can't Paul, remember. It's Russell Crowe film, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Russell Crowe. He's Paul, like maths Paul, genius, isn't he? Or something. Yeah, like. and Paul Bettany turns into a spider. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you say Come it. On, I remember. It. Yeah, twist. Yeah. No, no, that's it, but it reveals you can't. If someone watches it, I definitely recommend it. 
but I, cu- I couldn't remember it enough to sort of like uh, have it over the other films. Yeah. Um, uh, Shrek was a close yeah, one for me. Yeah, I also had that as well. I loved that. Again, Monsters, Inc., what you said, Phil, it, it was up Shrek, Monsters, Inc., they were very close. Um, oh, and the, the one that was almost number one for me, but I, I was Glitter with Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, I can't quite, believe the, that was quite the challenging the, film. The, other, uh, the Others as well, that was a good twist. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like that. As yeah. well, that, I think I prefer that to similar to um, uh, what do you call it? Where you talked about Six it? Sense, Six Sense, yeah. yeah. But I think they're all I coming out, don't they? Yeah, after that, they're all like joining the band. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I like that. I didn't, yeah, really. I, I think I preferred the twist of that one. I didn't see it as I didn't see it coming as much oh, as yeah. you did Six yeah. Sense one, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it was it was kind of that sort of era you was having a lot of twists in yeah. the film. So, speaking of um, yeah, so in Six Sense, that's Hayley Joel. Osman, mm-hmm. isn't he? Mm-hmm. So he was in a, AI. a thing, Pay It Forward. Oh, and AI as well, don't you? And AI. So Pay It Forward, I really like. That's the one with Kevin Spacey, unfortunately, with Kevin Spacey in it, as he's now. But yeah. And Helen Hunt, I really like that film as well. It's, um, yeah. And AI was written by our, um, our sponsor, wasn't it? Yeah, Kubrick. Kubrick's Microwave. Kubrick's Kubrick's Microwave. Sponsored by Kubrick's Microwave. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, obviously, you kind of have to mention that Harry Potter film came out this year as well. Yeah. It's a not, they're not the best yeah. films by any stretch, but they obviously get kids into the books and then them reading is always a good thing so yeah um there we go anything else honorable that we need to mention no that or have so. we kind um, of covered moulin all rouge things? i quite liked moulin rouge was out there um, i remember quite liking it. i was quite surprised because it's not like i remember watching it oh it's quite good yeah, actually oh shallow how oh one. yeah no actually shallow how nearly made my top three that was yeah, that was that was, that was probably, the jack black one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i quite like that yeah yeah, oh, yeah black, that, black hole down as well that was yeah <laughs> Um, if that's kind of that, it's an enemy at the gates. I think was a, that kind of thing. The sniper yeah, thing Law with Jude Law and, and whatever his the chops other is. Fines, brother, I can't remember. Um, Parkin. <laughs> Parkin. Parkin Fines. Fuck me! He walked right into Parkin. That took me a couple of seconds to clock. I was like, that sounds weird. <laughs> so I said it in my head, and then it came out. Joseph, like, yeah. is, it, is it? I think it is right, Joseph. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, and was dude, where's my car this year as well? Mm. <laughs> Because you know, I forgot that the year before, that's, but that's right up there for the that's Oscars for me. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's always there every year, <laughs> every year. Well, that's not bad. A nice little, uh, nice little collection of films there, and one for one for us to go and watch. Lovely. Always on your phone during important meetings. Dinner dates gone to pop because you can't keep your eyes off your phone. Not being able to talk about film endings with your friends because you didn't actually watch it because you were on your phone. Try GAFL. Get a fucking life. Our new app which sends you notifications silently, even when your phone is off silent mode. I used the GAFL app and managed to sit through a dinner with my partner without looking at my phone once. I managed to reply to all my messages later when I finished. I didn't even realise I had my phone on me. And I even got laid too. This app is fantastic. I watched a film the whole way through about my phone going off once. When I go out to the cinema, I managed to reply to my wife who was in labour just in time to hear my baby girl being born. Then I managed to talk about the film in depth with my friends down the pub. Fantastic. GAFL. Get a fucking life. Will allow you to interact with the people you care for rather than the people you don't even know. GAFL is available now. Any people that purchase GAFL and do not interact with loved ones cannot hold GAFL responsible. All other T's and C's apply. Get a fucking life. Uh, should yeah. we should we rumble straight into rumble. music? Let's do it. Are you feeling sassy enough let's to do, do it. that? Oh my god! Go go go! It's all go. Right, let's um, keep the same format. Let's go three, two, one. Mm. But let's go, Mister Dello. You you hit us first with yours, mate. Uh, number three is "Is This It" by The Strokes. Interesting. Yes. Um, yeah. No. It was um, actually. It was a bit of a. Um, took me a while to catch up with this. Actually, when I first heard it, I mean, I always loved Last Night. Yeah. But um, it was always an album. I think because of the intros. Actually, they sound a little bit different to how the actual rest of the song pans out. I think I, okay, was, yeah. I was I was put off by the beginning. And then, when, well, I think a couple of times I overborrowed the album. If you get and then I, it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's it. I, I pursued with it. Yeah. And yeah, I ended up really liking it. Um, what was it? Is, is this it? It's not bad. Modern Age, uh, Someday. Someday is really great. Be- yeah, be- mm-hmm. barely legal. Uh, summer. Um, 
hard to then even New York City cops isn't too bad. But well, that's yeah. an interesting one. That's the one it? that we were mentioning. Yeah, because yeah, off... that was that was on the early release. Oh, oh, really? when, and when then obviously when 9 11 happened, they had to take it off. Oh, they were obviously he's mocking, he's it. mocking Ooh. the cops. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So obviously, yeah. So then they so they, they then replaced it with a different song. So yeah, well, I've got, oh, okay. if you've got the New York City Cops version, it might be worth a bit of money, which I do yeah. have. I, yeah, I do. I have. checked I've it. I was like, oh, well. have I got the New York City Cops? Yeah, version? yeah it's weird how certain things like that. Um, yeah, so it's that's good, number number three. I, I really like that album actually because yeah, it, it features it's higher for me. But um, yes, yeah, um, yeah, no, it's a great. You album. can hear all those influences of like nineteen seventies kind of. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a really good yeah, stuff. When, when last night, Velvet Underground kind of creeps in. It was quite yeah. different for the time. Yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Well, also when I first saw the the video for last night it looks like you could put it in any 70s 80s era yeah. that sort of thing yeah. it's just yeah, it's, yeah I, it's like, I like to see Swagger as well Julian Casablanca yeah. Swagger yeah, yeah. he did and then they kind of like about after him. that they for me they produced some really good singles but <coughs> not quite enough to make no. a full yeah. I like Reptilia and there's like yeah. I love the intro of Reptilia I think it's quality yeah. Sort of like, sort of, if you ever was going to... i tell you what, I remember that specifically from a Guitar Hero. It was one oh, of the tunes the that you could play on that. Oh, what one? Reptilia. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Really, really I just love like the, that, yeah. the bass at the beginning. It's like really yeah. sort of like, I don't know, twangy, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that. Um, yeah, again, I could have been, easily could have been number two. But I just think, um, I don't know, maybe it's a weak number two, I don't know, but... It's um, oh, I went with Star Sailor. Love is here. Richie D. Um, Great minds. I went with Star Sailor. This love is here at number but two. But obviously, oh okay, oh, yeah. fair enough. But, but well, Star Sailor. I know it rings a bell. Poor misguided fool. Yeah, all those kind of it's things. kind of like some of it's a bit melancholy, but some of it's quite yeah. uh, upbeat. Yeah, um, a really distinctive voice and sort of sang with that wall. And he his lyrics were a bit weird though. It's like he. He sort of cobbled them together, but the musicians were really good. Yeah, and the 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 songs themselves were lovely. But if you sort of really pay attention, and listen, he's kind of talking a bit of bollocks. Yeah, like um, yeah, al- alcoholics. Um, yeah, Paul has got a full lullaby. Lullaby. I remember the great. name. I remember the Feet. name of the band, but I can't picture them all. Yeah, play some. They were like they a kind of grown, that, grown up Coldplay kind yeah, of. Yeah, this was their big album, and then the other albums again, really good singles, but the albums were just yeah. Sort of kind of, it's one of them ones. If you like skip through, sing if you get your singles and that, that would do. That would be. A, don't would really be enough, need yeah. to buy. They you know. they did a, a hidden track on this album as well, which I mean, I was a sucker for a hidden track anyway. But yeah, yeah, this yeah was, that, that come on nice. the other day actually when I was when I was listening to it. Yeah. Um, but my number one is one of my favourite albums of all time actually, and it's Ryan Adams' Gold. Um, it's just uh, we talked to bit about it I think with Owen so yeah last, last time last but it, time, yeah, yeah. I, 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 there's probably about there's about 16 songs on this album oh it gives you it gives it you, gives you yeah it gives you 100% and there's probably about three songs that aren't I up to three good ones no <laughs> that aren't up to not par. A great hit rate. <laughs> yeah. yeah that'd be bad wouldn't it but yeah uh, obviously New York New York that was a big one Phil talks about it about the video of him outside the Twin Towers wasn't it uh, Firecracker, Answering Bell, um, was it uh, La Singa, Just Smile, Rescue Blues, When the Stars Go Blue, Sylvia Plath. It's, it's kind of like, it's a bit, it's bluesy, it's beautiful. Um, it's not going to, again, it's not going to be for everyone. But for me, it's like, I like just ticks boxes. I just, uh, I, I, ne- I, I must admit, I never, never got into him at all. But I don't think I gave if you're gonna get into, if you're gonna get now into I've one got a bit of more of a wider palette, maybe. Right, okay. Well, it's a bit country. It's a bit uh, bluesy. It's that's what. We, but if you're gonna get into any of his album, this is the this one. Will be the one. So okay. the others a bit. There's yeah. that's good cross- songs in him. That's cross over like poppy, doesn't it? Can't, this one does. So out of all genre them. crossing. Which yeah. Is, yeah, I'd say this was the more poppy one. Yeah, he's, he's generally yeah because he generally sticks to like a certain. Not underground, but a bit raw, I'd say, mm. on these other stuff. But yeah, but I don't know. This is this is the one. I don't. Know. Maybe it's because of that. Maybe I maybe don't know. But yeah, the, who knows? Maybe, maybe it is. But yeah, yeah that's my number one. And nice, that's, good show. That is it. I'm definitely going to give him give him a bash. Anywho, but um, let's find out if Mr. Reynolds uh, makes us think about anything else. What's on your list? Okay, so REM's reveal. What a shock. Oh, Doesn't yeah. he make my top Whoa. three? Oh, he's lured us in and he's dashed us. us down one road. Unbelievable. Doesn't make it. 
Does it not? No, no, it doesn't. It's, well, it's got a few is... good songs on it. You know, it's got like uh, Imitation of Life. Imitation of Life is the big one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, I'll Take the Rain. That's a beautiful song. It's got a few others, but it was their little summer Beach Boys album. It's, it's okay, but mm. it's not good. It doesn't make the list. Not good enough. Okay, so, so what, what keeps it off then? Number three is Wilco with Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. That... Oh, it's Bilco. Yeah, it was Bilko. No. Sergeant Bilko. Oh, sorry. Phil Silvers. Yeah, yeah no, we'll they're go. Black and white. Great, yeah. They're great little, they're no. like a Chicago band. Uh, quite folky. Jack Tweedy. You're pulling some stuff out again. No, oh, I really like listen this album. I'll have to listen to this. Yeah. No, it's really good. So look, it's not too far off of like, like the Ryan Adam, kind of oh, folky. Okay. Folky sort yeah, of. Yeah, kind of thing. It's good. Um, songs like Camera, Jesus, etc. Heavy Metal Drummer. Uh, again, this come under a bit of contra- controversy with um, what because of the nine eleven. Yeah, because there's lyrics in like Jesus etc. about shaking buildings and things like that, oh, and they okay. had to like kind of do. But it was nothing to do with that. But it just it like just at so the time, happened. anything yeah. was anything that was mentioned, anything like that, they had yeah, to kind of yeah. yeah but really good. Album. I really recommend that. Okay, we'll cover a great band. Actually, they got a lot of good albums, but so they they weren't like a one off one. No, no, no. Yeah, they're well, quite they're quite well respected in, in America, especially. Okay. Um, my number two is. Is this it? The Strokes. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, very good. I really like the album. Yeah, I haven't heard it for a while, but I remember at the time. Like, I'm pretty sure I pretty, pretty much would now. Yeah, it's the fact he led the way for sort of Kings of Leon and various. Yeah, other ones. they I were think the ones so. that yeah. kind of stopped the rot of all that poppy. Nonsense yeah, and kind of. Yeah, I think so. It's good. Again, very good. They? Different yeah. at the time. Um, my number one now is is an album I could still listen to today, and I, yeah, it's Tenacious D. Their debut I album. thought you might have oh, gone down that road. Right. Does that never come up? Yeah, yeah. It's just, I've got it. I've got it on honourable mention. Oh, really? no, I, just, just, I know. Yeah, I know for well. Reynolds it's have it. so good. It's, I mean, it's it's a comedy album, but it, even the songs are the really songs are good. really well constructed, aren't they? It's that's just the like, uh, but you got the songs that like, you got tribute. You have got like one note song. That's the thing. That's the first one. Yeah, where tribute. Do 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 do. You but... got Wonder Boy. That's a brilliant song. Wonder Boy's great. Yeah. Hard yeah. fucking Wonderboy. hard for cock push up. Something that's brilliant. That. And then uh, Kilbasa, Kilbasa sausage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Inwood singing. It's yeah. good. Oh. I mean, it's because it's they're like interludes in yeah. between songs, and yeah. then they go into where they're talking about, it, and then they go into a song. It's the actual song, isn't it? Yeah. And it's about sixteen songs. Very similar to the so uh, Eminem style of approach. So li- lots of skits in between yeah. songs and stuff. Yeah. But, Very uh, different uh, output, though. But like I say it's yeah. it's, fu- cop, it's, cop it's push-ups is quite a quite a title. <laughs> yeah, as well. it's push-up. Like, you could do how many how many push ups do you think you do uh, oh, with your cock? Yeah. Uh, well, just one, I suppose. <laughs> it's, just, yeah. it's just like that. It's just, yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah. Comedy ridiculous. albums aren't for everyone, but the, as you say, the songs in them, yeah, no, are actually really good. So I mean, yeah. it's not just comedy. Yeah. I think the songs are brilliant yeah. as well. So for that, it's got it's got value where I could listen to it. Yeah. Like put it on now, I could easily just listen to it. Yeah. So um, yeah, Tenacious D, that's number a, number that's one. A great, I did. I did assume you'd have that. I must confess, so I was. I was <laughs> happy to leave it off, mine. It's yeah. one of the songs. It's like um, it sort of goes into a bit of a ballad, and I can't remember. I really like it off the album. It's um, oh, was it? I met a tasty girl in Michigan. We screwed two times, then I left. And then it kind of it goes from one thing to the other, and then it goes into this ballad bit, and then it flips back over. Oh, God, just I but yeah, they, they, they are, he's good. They're, yeah, they're really talented. They are, they're yeah. really talented musicians, yeah. but they it just the comedy value as well. After. Yeah, but no, that little breakaway, it could have been from any top band. Yeah. yeah. It's just the way that that was a little bit, and then they go back to silliness. And it's so. it's from the silly guy from Shallow Howl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, he kind of broke yeah, through right. around this time, then he yeah. Jack Black. Yeah, absolutely. Good album. Nice choice on that, Reynolds. I like that. Um, I'll just round off the the, the three of us. Um, so, I've I've got Strokes in at number one um, as my top album that yeah, year. But nice. again, they could be kind of interchangeable with Star Sailor because I really like that as well. So, uh, but we've we've talked about that. So, my number three, just to round it out, was a uh, Sum Forty One, All Killer No Filler, mm-hmm. because as we know, I'm a sucker for a British um, comedy film. I'm also a bit of a a sucker mm. for some pop punk. Nice. And they were they were Canada's answer to kind of Blink One Eight Two. Really yeah, yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. So Fat Lip is the one that kind of most people know, but In Too Deep as well. Yeah, this yeah. is the song oh, that kind okay. of broke them and stuff. And then there's Pain for Pleasure and a few other ones. But it's it's 34 minutes of pop punk, and I, yeah, I liked it yeah, a yeah. lot. I liked it a lot. Like a lot. So we've gone, if I'm not mistaken, we've gone Zoolander three two one, and then I think yeah. we've gone Strokes three mm, two strokes. one as well. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, mm. bit of a yeah consistency from us for mm. once. Uh, any other honourable mentions we need to kind of tip? That there was to? actually. I've got uh, White Stripes, 
uh, white, yeah. white blood cells. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's a, it's got probably like three or four obviously really famous ones. Fell in love with the girl, Hotel Yoba and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I've got Amnesiac, Radiohead. I quite like that one. I know that's just the point where a lot of fans they fell off. They start to get a bit, yeah, because, uh, flaky. But I, actually, this is, I didn't mind this one, actually. It's quite a pyramid song, Morning Bell. Knives Out. Nice. Um, yeah, that's about it for me. Richie D, any, uh, uh, any missed opportunities? Yeah, um, Ash, um, was it? Uh, oh, I can't remember what it was, actually. Burn, Baby, Burn, isn't it? Oh, was that for their third I album? I can't remember. Maybe I haven't written down, but it was like, uh, sometimes, Burn, Baby, Burn, there's a star... Okay, yeah, um, decent enough tunes on there. Travis obviously did Invisible Band. They did the Invisible Band, didn't they? Yeah, I had that. Flowers in the Window and Dear Diarrhea or Dear Diary or whatever the fuck <laughs> they called it. Dear Diarrhea is a great name uh, for a song. That's, um, and what it, there was, um, oh, Seriophonics, they're the third oh, they did, album. Yeah, Just Enough Education to Record. Yeah, There's a few tunes on that. Yeah, that I actually like uh, quite a few songs off there. We've mentioned before, it before, haven't we? But like the first album, we're all in agreement, is like, Almost untouchable kind of thing, and then the second one is enough. Wasn't there some controver- yeah. controversy with that title of that album or something? Because it's spelled Jeep, it's didn't Jeep, you? Say? But there's a, there's just enough education to perform. And they added T in it. Yeah, and but what was like, the controversy about? I remember it being really no, controversial at the they, time. They never rode Jeeps. Jeeps. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. I remember. Also, it. remember they had handbags and a glad uh, glad rags, which was added on, I think, to a later version of the album. Mm. And then that, is that the one that was Mr. Writer on it? Is it that? Yeah, that Mr. That? Writer, yeah. and it coincided with the office because the handbags office, and the glad yeah. bag of uh, black ra- <laughs> glad bags. <laughs> the old handbags. Glad bags, and the glad bags. Bags. <laughs> yeah, uh, and there's a couple of songs. I've got, what was off of there? There was um, "Step on My Old Size Nines." I quite like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Lion in the Sun there's a couple of like they're quite um, sort of chilled sort of uh, songs but yeah it's about four or five on there five, more than you realise isn't they yeah yeah so that was actually. quite good and then last of all um, 50 minute tea break by the Lazy Builders <laughs> and, what, uh, what notable uh, songs were on that Dale that's funny you should say Jim you had massive brick teas lovely that was uh, <laughs> you do yoga I do diddly squats and uh, number three, and that was <laughs> you're adopted because I couldn't be bothered to fuck your mum. That was uh, <laughs> quite, quite, that, the, uh, quite that, the change. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah. so that was the, I don't know what reference that's gone through. Builders, builders. <laughs> well, la- yeah. no, lazy builders. Lazy builders. Uh, yeah, it's more lazy than one. builders. Ah, right, I'm so guessing it's more, more to the laziness. I know, you take out with the songwriter, not me. Yeah, yeah true, true. Yeah. true it's, yeah. not, I just, it's not Del making these yeah, up, is it? I just love the jams, man. You, really, you were there for the. You were there for the sweet vibe. What, kind, what kind of music? was this this was reggae. kind of <laughs> yeah. it's a reggae reggae album it was reggae yeah. notoriously difficult third album they, they Reg, reggae, out. yeah reggae jazz hip hop yeah acid acid jazz acid fusion jazz. Yeah, so when a lot of fans left them yeah exactly it was along yeah. the same time as uh, the Radiohead fans yeah. all stormed yeah. out yeah similar similar sort of thing yeah. Similar <laughs> lazy builders yeah yeah, yeah absolutely uh, I got a couple more just to baffle you with and you think what the mm. fuck are you talking about Jimbo so Take Off Your Pants and Jacket was a Blink 182 follow up album which oh, I, okay. I quite liked um, I had Reveal Down I had Origin of Symmetry by Muse was yeah, sort yeah. of out that at time I never got into them then but I've appreciated Muse mm. now yeah. a bit more um, Toxicity and System of a Down was out with obviously okay. Chop Sue from our kind of brush days yeah. there was a couple of tunes on that um, I think your Mrs. Dell would uh, like Misunderstood by Pink. She's a bit of a fan of uh, yeah. oh, the Pinkletons, so. isn't she? Um, and the last one, which I really mm. liked and probably shouldn't say it out loud, um, Licking on Both Sides by Mystique. Big fan. Oh, yeah, Mystique. Yeah, <laughs> Loved a bit know. of Mystique. Um, oh. uh, one is to beat with you. Amazing. No, no, Great yeah, no, yeah, no, I can see why. Oh, well, the other one, no, I forgot, it was uh, Kylie Fever. She came back. Oh, she did, didn't she? Yeah. yeah so, so I can't get you out of my head, one. Yeah, no, yeah. uh, what was the other one? Um, there was there was two big hits off there, that album. I suppose she was in all the hot pants and that one. Spinning, Spinning around? Spinning around, yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Yeah. But yeah, that was... Um, that was it was more for the video. videos and the songs. Yeah, I think, you can it? watch them mute, really, <laughs> can't you? Yeah, good, uh, good, good pop hits, yes, nonetheless. Yes, for sure. Yeah, because that was a bit of a comeback, actually. She, was, yeah, she hadn't she done nothing been, for a few years. Would have been quiet, didn't she? Really. Yeah, reinvented yeah. again. Mm. Yeah, definitely something to go and listen to there. Good few, yeah, good few was... little recommendations. Definitely give Wilco a bash. Yeah, good. I think yeah, I'll, have a, I'll have a go on them. Okay. Lovely stuff. Yeah, good work. Mate. Well done, chaps. Well done, Jimmy. Phil. Treat your beloved pet to a proper send-off. Your special little pooch deserves a fab farewell. 
Here at Dogitas, we'll take little Rover over to Switzerland and for a final walk in the mountains before cleanly dispatching them. We also offer the same service for your porky pets too with our sister company, Pignitas. Pet Euthanasia, brought to you by Dognitas. Call now for a free brochure. Okay, chaps, we're approaching the final furlong. Let's dive headfirst into some letters and emails. <laughs> so the first one we've got is from Carol Coathanger, who's in Banbury, and says, um, do you have a song that describes your mood right now? And if so, what would it be? Um, so, mood song. Um, I'm probably going to go with uh, I'm So Excited. Oh, other points, sisters. Oh, no. um, or Horny by Moose T. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure which one. Let's go with Horny. Ooh, um, Richie, Richie D. What, what's what are you thinking? What mood are you in right now? Let's see if we. I'm if you go, can describe, okay. if you haven't got one, describe yeah, your no, mood, no, no, and we'll I'm, find the song for you. Maybe I'm going with Christina Aguilera, "Genie in the Bottle." Ooh, do you need rubbing the right way? You got to rub me the right way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I'm even so more horny. I, I always thought when that first, when that song came out. Like, before she did Dirty Now, I always just thought, oh, yeah, she's a nice, wholesome girl. She's a lovely girl. girl. Wholesome girl. From the same family as the uh, the Britneys. Yeah. yeah, but now yeah, I'm just reading her. a bit more into the... She's bit. an absolute wrong one, Rub me the right way. Oh, who sang that? She was a grotty pot, uh, Christina, Christina Aguilera. Uh, and she came out with that mud song, didn't she? Mud! Dirty. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> mud. Mud, 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 mud. What do you think she was in mud? She, she was in the video, she's wrestling in mud. I yeah, think that's what I'm getting confused with. Mud song. I think she's just in water, isn't she? That's tiger feet, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's, right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, Christine. I think they're in mud. Are they, are they wrestling in mud as well? Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's dirty water, if anything. Dirty, dirty. Mud dirty water, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, mud. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not been done by be Essex Fusion and Suffolk water. No, it hasn't been filtered. <laughs> no. No, 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 not not that many anyway. We're on a drought. Pipe band. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what about you, Mr. Reynolds? Have you got uh, a song that describes your current mood? You or... I've got two really. Oh, okay. They're quite opposite ends of the okay. spectrum, really. Right. I'm thinking Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Lovely. Uh-huh. Oh please do. Yeah. And, yeah, is that, and, is and, that... then, and then two finish it. I'm thinking this is the end by the doors. <laughs> is so, it is Don't that, Don't is Stop it... Me Now because you're He's you're a potential sex predator. Okay. And this is the end because you've been arrested. Yeah, if you want to see it like that, then you yeah. He's not, he's not, <laughs> oh, no, he's not like, yeah. What a fun. terrible decision from the lawyer to let him defend himself. <laughs> a bit like, a bit like the, the, the Donnie Darko film. <laughs> Why not yeah, yeah, you have open, your own? Open, open, yeah. Yeah. Make, make your own assumptions. Yeah. But what about, um, it's the end of the world as we know it? Mm. Uh, that could be a good one. Run, yeah, I don't run think without I'm, a bit yeah. of REM. It's quite yeah, gloomy. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little gloomy, isn't it? But you know, <laughs> I'm still horny, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, Carol Coat Hanger. Hopefully that has uh, given you some food for thought. Mm. Let's move along to um, Hank Mardukas, um, who's in the Gaza Strip. Blimey, keep your head down, Hank. Um, <laughs> but he asks, my best, fa- acorn f- sorry, my best mate, Acorn Face, says that in life there's a biscuit for every situation, but I don't agree with him. What do you boys think? So, Reynolds, is there a biscuit? For every situation, yeah, it's got to be. And there's hundreds of biscuits. And there's hundreds of situations. Therefore, okay. you can, have, you can right, pick so a biscuit for every. Why won't Jim throw out a situation and okay. you? Okay. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Mm. Um, so I'm thinking Hank Mardukas um, in the Gaza Strip. He's in fear for his life mm. because of his religious views. What's the biscuit that cures that situation? Well, so he's got people. He thinks he's got people after him. He has got people laughing. It's, it's, it's not paranoid. It's not paranoid. This is this is legit. Mm. What biscuit? So is are we make saying tanks? what biscuit is going to use as a weapon to defend him with, or just to calm his nerves? Now that is a judgment call on your. Or, or you can relate it to oh, it, hobnob because you throw them fuckers and they are they are solid. <laughs> they are solid. You're so right. does that come regular in the Reynolds household? <laughs> yeah, randomly throwing hobnobs yeah. in the event of any <laughs> situation, <laughs> any <laughs> argument. Claire's on the phone. He's doing it again, Mum. He's throwing hobnobs. I told you he was a wrong one, didn't I? But you wouldn't listen. <laughs> if you once a hobnob thrower, always a hobnob. If it's thrower. a digestive or rich tea, they're just going to break. Gonna a hobnob will make damage. Solid. That will take. So that that will take be, a wall out. Yeah, and they they will spin really well. Mm, so yeah. yeah, hobnob for that situation for okay. a weapon of yeah, choice. Nice. Okay. How about um, Dell? You got a situation mm. that we can chuck at Mr. Reynolds? Uh, yes. Um, 
you've got a flat tire and uh, Ruth Van Nistelrooy is he's a bit hard on his luck. <laughs> Two very disparate <laughs> things. He's, he's looking for somewhere to live. All right. What Has he come to me for that advice? Yeah, or? yeah. What, what a biscuit. What's the fat tire got to do with anything? It's absolutely fuck all. <laughs> it's, a it's, a it's a way in. It's a way in. It's a curveball. <laughs> it's a way in to get into your, your, well, so, your so life. So the situation is more about right, Rude Van Nistroy wanting yeah. to come and... Yeah, I, think, I think so, yeah. So it, we, we'd have to sit down and have a chat, really, wouldn't we? So he's Dutch. Mm, mm. Um, I can't think of any Dutch biscuits. So. <laughs> it's enough to be, so, no, I know, but, but I was you, trying to make all... Just uh, give him a great biscuit. That yeah, will a Gary Baldy. Yeah. Gary nah, Baldy's okay, a good I don't one, know Gary Baldy's. No. Yeah, but Rude might. Nah, no, he wouldn't. He's more... You sure? Oh, yeah. Smoking a pancake? I think that's just... Plain, simple bourbon. Yeah, yeah. bourbon. Yeah, bourbon's a great one. A bourbon's bourbon. a cracking biscuit. Good Just for, as well. for a conversation starter, bourbon. A biscuit for every situation. What do you do if someone's having a heart attack? Do you give them a Do you, do you give them a custard cream? Uh, or do you give them CPR? CPR, nah. that's a custard... No, you, you don't, you, you don't, you don't, you don't give them a yeah. custard cream. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Just keep, keep shoving biscuits into their face. <laughs> Sugar. And, St. And John's hope, ambulance people. Just, just <laughs> feeding people hobnobs left, right. We're ready to there. start CPR. Nah, no, just fuck nah, Stand back. Just, nah. just get our custard creams in your mouth, Let's mate. just whack four fig rolls down his throat and see what happens. And then stand yeah. back. Chocolate watch, fingers. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. Let's Cadbury's finger out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so yeah, that making completely wonderful. airtight. Chocolate fingers for that. Pop, pop for them everywhere. Attack. Yeah, I think so. It's the, it's the only way forward, isn't it? I believe so that's mate, what they're teaching kids in school these days. Pop, maybe there is a biscuit for every situation. I think there might well be. Mm. And if you can think of any others, listeners, um, please send in your uh, situations and we'll be glad to devise a biscuit for it. That's a good question. I like that one. It's good, isn't it? It's good. They're, uh, they've always got us thinking, our listeners. Um, Another listener that needs something answering is Clint Lamborghini from West Harrow. He says, do you believe that dogs in Hollywood should be paid the same as human actors? <laughs> Phil, you're our um, film guru. What do you think? Do our canine actors stack up against our human friends? or Who gets the money, though? Is it the owners of you're the dog? Always, you're always looking for another oh, way. Well, oh, what do you mean? Or the agent? Yeah. No, you don't want to give the agents anyone. Anyway. No, they got enough. The money. agents getting ten percent, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But ninety percent is does... presumably going to the uh, to the owner. What do you to think? Well, then, yeah. If it's going to the owners, then so I think the they've, they've, a lot of hard work has gone in to make that dog a Hollywood star. So then they yeah. should get the uh, the hard work they put in. They should get some money back. For so it. Do you reckon Clifford, the big red dog? Do you reckon it's changed in the phone? Oh, oh, definitely. Of course, he's yeah, an yeah, absolute yeah. arsehole. Can't walk down the street now without <laughs> anyone a, knowing him. Just shit he's an absolute <laughs> arsehole now. He believes his own hype. That's the problem. He's good friends with Barney the Dinosaur. And he's a <laughs> is he prick as yeah. well. <laughs> I've heard about yeah, Absolute prick. Yeah, he's just a... going around, yeah. pushing, <laughs> pushing other dogs in there around dinosaurs. <laughs> kids, kids in the queue just, ah, gets the bag. <laughs> cool. He gets hammered on set as well, doesn't he, Barney? Oh, yeah. yeah. Massive, <laughs> massive <laughs> issues. Massive issues. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> drunk uh, dinosaur. Barney the drunk dinosaur. Before we, uh, we get I a massive, love you. massive lawsuit, I think we should... Uh, you love instead of, me. Instead of them for the last dinosaur, yeah, it's Barney the drunk dinosaur. Well, uh, There's a reason he was the last dinosaur, because uh, Barney gets the crap out of him. <laughs> I, think, I think Del might be the last dinosaur. <laughs> I am the last one. Uh, let's, let's move away from a potential lawsuit mm. and um, talk to Jock Strap from Coventry. <laughs> He says, if you were a bank robber, what mask or outfit would you wear? Uh, Del, I'm going to ask you first on that one. So, Jock Strap wants to know if you were a bank robber, what mask or full outfit might you wear? I'm I, praying it's the same as your Desert I would Island go dicks. Peppa Pig. Be, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> be just for the fact of it, I think Peppa Pig's a bit of a dick. And She's a very trumped up four year old, isn't she? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bit of a bit of a bossy bit of a, bit bit of a bit bossy of a dick. Boots, yeah. Um so potentially if I do a bank robbery, if I get yeah. away with it, that's brilliant. Quitting. But if I if I don't potentially it could down. ruin Pepper's career. Yeah. So then nice. that way everyone's down just a like, Yeah, two. you know what, Pepper's a bit of a dick. You can't be like sort of like you can't be like shown to kids if you're robbing banks. I quite agree, mate. Quite agree, yeah. yeah that, that's, Big fan that's for that. For me. Uh, Mr. Reynolds, are you uh, of a similar opinion or have you got a different outfit in mind? I'll be a different one. Can't be bothered with Peppa Pig. <laughs> screw screw okay. Peppa. Is she in the same class as Clifford and uh, Denver and all the rest of them for you? Or I'm trying to find something out, sorry. That's, that's all oh, right. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, that's, all right. that's all right. It's not like we're on the clock here or anything, Phil. It's all good. I'm trying to, uh, are you are you looking for what? Phil's doing his tax return? He's, he's blood tight. <laughs> uh, now, what would I go for? I would go for 
mask is this mask or outfit we've been mm. given a bit of um i mean i'd go to... he-man <laughs> okay what, outfit or mask <laughs> i'll go fuck it full outfit, outfit, yeah. full outfit. <laughs> yeah. but it wouldn't be like me it'd be like like one of them what muscle suits yeah yeah, yeah. muscle oh, okay. suits all built in yeah, yeah i like the idea of you better <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be better with a gut with hanging with out with pants <laughs> and like a grey vest <laughs> with just a blonde wig <laughs> just a blonde <laughs> bob I look like wig. jimmy savile <laughs> 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 is he? Is that He Man or Jimmy Savile? Doing a bit of cigar. We've got a letter here from a young man called Paul Cor- Skeletor. <laughs> That is a terrible, <laughs> nightmarish image that you've given us. Come on, Skeletor. Wow. <laughs> you, pair of pants and just a blonde wig. <laughs> Riding Cringer. <laughs> oh, he oh, really definitely mackerel. is Cringer. Cringer, he's so cringy. <laughs> oh, that's why he's cringing. Oh, my days. What he's thinking, he's thinking of Phil in pants with blonde hair. Right, so I think I've had a funny turn down. Instead of a grey sword, it is the cigar yeah. he lifts up. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't quite turn into Battle Cat because it's yeah. still scared. Oh, oh, yeah. By the power of grey school. He's got too many issues about what you I did to him. the power. That's why cringe is so cringy, is because what Savile um, slash He Man did to yeah. him. Wow. I mean, that is, mm. that's going to give me nightmares. The moment I close my eyes, <laughs> that's all I'm seeing from now on. <laughs> Christ on a bike. Well, um, Jock Strap, you absolute swine. You've, you've oh, ruined yours, sleep. Jim? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Christ. I need something to take my mind off it, don't I? Um, mask or outfit? Um, oh, my days. You put me on the spot. You could go like ex president style, like um, could point do. Break. do you know what I, I was, was on last night, wasn't it? Last yeah, night. it was on telly when yeah, I was no, watching. I was actually watching that. <laughs> what was he, uh, man? <laughs> he's, he's, Phil he's, was in it. It doesn't age very well, does it? Point, but he Keanu man. Reeves acting that is fucking it's, awful. It's diabolical, isn't it? But to be fair, the, the whole night surfing thing is, <laughs> yeah. is atrocious. Yeah. Where it's just been sort of, oh, it's <laughs> awful. Um, but yeah, mask wise, I think, I think you know when you can sort of go on those um, stag dudes and stuff, and you can go yeah. get like. Con- um, Cardboard masks, yeah, the, the yeah. half half face thing. Yeah. I think I'd get one of uh, Steve Davis, the snooker player. Oh, really? Yeah. And just go as <laughs> the Romford Nugget. The Romford Nugget. <laughs> no one, no one with. expects Steve. Full, full suit, yeah, white exactly. shirt, black tie, the whole lot. With a Q as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Q, okay. bit of chalk. Just yeah. drop a chalk <laughs> whilst <laughs> I'm doing the robbery Waste just to throw him off the old uh, yeah. scent. <laughs> yeah, waistcoat on, the full no dad. <laughs> Chaz That's, and Dave singing Snooker Looper. If I could get that, oh, just okay. following me round yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a car behind my getaway <laughs> We're car. We're off shotguns. All over it. Ooh. Pop the green, pop the, no, pop the red, then screw, screw back, back for the, the yellow, green, brown, brown blue, blue, pink, and black. <laughs> We're all snooker, blue, beat. So that's who I'd go with. I love yeah. the chicken arms you did. It was, it was, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't translate, that. unfortunately, to an audio setting, but I was <laughs> dancing, listeners, I was dancing. Um, okay, let's do one more and then we can um, put the bag to, to rest for okay. another week. Um, I've got one from Sandy Crack, who lives down by the pier, and she says, uh, do you believe the rumour that Paul McCartney, Sir Paul McCartney, mm. in fact, is actually a 50-year-old woman called Brenda Johnson who works on the fish counter at Sainsbury's? Pure and simple. Believe it or not, Reynolds. Let's no, go to you first. No, I don't. No. Why? Why do you not? Why do you not? Well, the maths don't work out because the Beatles were around in 1960. Were they though? Mm, were never. they? Never. And if she's only 50, that means she was born in 1972. So, mm. yeah, no. Wow. I mean, I can't believe that. Despite eight beers in, he's actually come up with some logic. Yeah, that's really quite logic, depressing, yeah. isn't it? It's kind of killed. Del, I'm going to come. I'm going <laughs> to come to you, but. Can you dissuade us from that answer being true? No, I want to. But I don't, I don't think I don't think we can really go that. anywhere, can we? So no. it's Should quite a, quite a damp squib to end on. <laughs> but, um, do let's go with another one. Then. But do, do you know one, what? Yeah. I like I like seeing Reynolds actually come out a winner occasionally. Yeah, so I'm not totally sure if problem. we should because occasionally he lets himself down <laughs> at this point. So I don't know if we should uh, we should let him let him have this one and we we come back stronger next week. No, never do that. Too. Never do that. Oh, in that case, <laughs> let's um, let's go to a question from Willie Lickett, our Chicago resident. <laughs> he says, "I'm a 62 year old man whose mother still calls me her little soldier." Uh, what do you think she means by this as it makes me uncomfortable when I'm bringing girls back for sexy lovey times mm. so what do you think she means by little soldier Reynolds let's um, see as you're on a roll what do you think he's 62 means? he's 62 and he's still a little soldier yeah well you know is that is that just a loving thing or is I that so. more of a uh, parents, dig it is? parents say you're always a special you're always their babies no matter how old you are I know. so he's 62 mm. she's going to be about 82 bless her yeah Maybe she's absolutely you know, riddled she's that, with her. And he's 
you know, unfortunately, yeah. he's been blessed with a uh, small little penis as well. That could be it. <laughs> that could, you think it's double trouble? I think, yeah, probably. I don't yeah. want to you know, ruin his uh, confidence. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't Mind want you, to do if he's that, still yeah. bringing girls over 62, he's, good, good on him. Good on him. Yeah, something's working. <laughs> yeah, so well, I wouldn't not worry what your mum says. True. Yeah, keep at it, soldier. Yeah. Attention. <laughs> Private browsing. Uh, Richie D, what do you think about um, Willie um, Lickett's issue? Yeah, see, see, I'm going for the more realistic approach. I think she, as in My Little Soldier, I think um, she's got a giant egg and she dips She wants to dip in, him physically into dips it. Dips him into the giant egg physically into so My wow. Little Soldier and she licks his face. Oh, mm. oh, well, whilst nice the though. girls are there? Well, that, yeah. maybe, maybe the morning after. Uh, maybe yeah. it's a morning thing yeah but yeah I suppose so. no one wants hard no. boiled eggs at night do they no <laughs> soft boiled eggs that's weird that's offensive <laughs> that would be weird not dipping yeah. a 62 year old well, man well, we directly into an egg but. So is we, it we, we could try it instead of like opening a kebab van we could open up a half boiled egg van so, so, at the end of like sort of nightclubs and eggs, pubs eggs and dippy soldiers yeah, yeah. Or, uh, or do you want a kebab mate <laughs> Half pounder, no, no, eggs and dippy soldiers. Thank you. Like, quite, they're quite all good to eat now, aren't they? Have you got a spoon to, uh... <laughs> to get it right though? Because you've got oh, to get that right. That's tricky. Got... It's only, yeah, it's only yeah. a... loads of piss heads. What we done with dippy soldiers? Four, yeah. four and a half minute cook and no yeah, longer. And then it's still cooking while the by the time they actually get to it, it's like going to be hard boiled. Imagine those coming back with extra. Oh, they'd be throwing them in your van. Yeah. Mm. Smash windows a go go. Nasty business. Oh, actually, I've got. I mean, I've got, break, I've got, breaking news. I've got no. secrets to tell you. Yeah, well, no, this isn't a secret at all. I've got Dippy some, Soldiers on there. It's something similar to that, related to that. How and is something, it possibly related and to some, that? And something related. <laughs> what, to being dipped into a giant egg? No, or and yeah. something related to a past episode. Okay. Oh, my God, you're going back Ooh. again yeah, yeah. the archives. My okay. house got egged again the other day. <gasps> oh, yes. Sorry, mate, yes. Fucking yes. bastard kids did, mate, yeah. over the field fucking throwing eggs at my house again. And it's not even Halloween yeah, or anything. Do you want to tell the whole thing, Phil? Because this... This is, this is quite amusing. Yeah, I chased after little bastards. Didn't Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you saw it happening. Yeah, yeah, it was in the day. I got home from work. In the day? Well, it was, the it was about, six, it's about six o'clock in the evening. Dusk. It was still light. And um, I was just... Set the scene for us. Yeah. What are you, you're, you're hoovering? No, I was just in the kitchen. I think I was in, well, in the office bit. Yeah. And I saw these kids hanging around the back gate. So I was just keeping an eye on them. And next thing I know, I just saw them throw an egg. I was like, you little bastard. Right, that's it, I've got you. And then they carried on doing this. So I just ran away. Oh, hey. And then they just legged it off. They were petrified for that oil. <laughs> they they yeah, went through a yeah, petrol yeah. bomb. Yeah. So then they legged they it off. It. They upped the ante. And then about 20 minutes later, they come back again and did it again. So I, oh. me and I grabbed Harvey. You know, he ran, we both ran out. I grabbed, opened up the back gate and I legged it out of Harvey, thinking he would run after him, but yeah, he weren't. He just being a d- so idiot. Just like going, where are we going? We're going for a run. Can you just explain to the audience who Harvey is? Because they might think it's Harvey Keitel. Yeah, no, it's not Harvey Keitel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a dog. All right. My little dog. <laughs> I'll say my little dog. is. <laughs> Quite a big Labrador. <laughs> but yeah, we, so we just ran after these kids. <laughs> you know, Harvey Weinstein ran after <laughs> Yeah. Just as he man Sam slash Ham Savile. <laughs> oh my oh, days. Oh, this is, <laughs> I, I thought the last mental image I had was bad. Now this is an absolute night terror. <laughs> so yeah. did, you, did you catch them? No, no, we're oh. bloody quick. So, like, but, oh. but they ran off. It was quite amusing because they ran off. And they would like. Did they scatter? Yeah, they, they kind go, of scattered. Do you remember that? That was that used to be yeah. the but shout. It, but this it? is the genius scatter. bit. Scatter. This was the genius bit. So they ran off, and they kind of scattered. Mm. And then I kind of stopped. It turned into helicopters. And I had Casey with me, my daughter <laughs> behind me, and she kind of caught up. And there was this kid though sitting in the like trees, just sitting there, minding his own business. <laughs> oh, this is good. Def- definitely. And, it, and he just went. He just went. Oh, it wasn't. Right. It right. weren't me. <laughs> they ran off. They, it weren't me. They ran off down there. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. Cheers, mate. Uh, he, was the power. he was definitely uh, a lookout. But, but he weren't out of breath or anything. But like, and then Casey was like, it was definitely him. And I went, you know what? If it was, hats off Fair to him. Because that's a brilliant balls. fucking yeah. The, the balls, balls to him. sit there. Yeah. And, it's like Scooby Doo, you know, there. like hiding like what they do, like just <laughs> like, someone chasing right. him in a massive hide sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ran past the buffet table about eleven times in the hallway. <laughs> but uh, you yeah, know, hats off to him if it was. I kind of thought, Joe, you know, even if it was him, then uh, yeah, Shows good, good on him. Yeah. But um, yeah, so wow. I got egged again. Ten years. Thirty years later, yeah, or something. Ten episodes on, but yeah. egged again. Damn, Bastards. how's your luck? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two revival They must be stories listening. Do you reckon they're, uh, do you reckon they're blankers? Who li- they, <laughs> yeah, it might be, they yeah. Might, they, yeah, listen yeah. To- they are little bastards. I'll be after you next time. Or, or they're giggling along to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. just going to get him again. Yeah, I've just made it. Week. Every, every single week he's now going to get egged worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. isn't they? And they'll dress as a uh, He-Man at some point. <laughs> <laughs> just to really rub it in. One dresses white. <laughs> Half he's dressed as Battle Cat. He's going to be on his back. <laughs> Me and him, run. I'm right. Oh down. my god! I still think it's Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. What a way to go out. That is, oh, that's that is a weird powerful. Picture in my head. Yeah, yeah, went a bit off cue there, but I had to. Uh, you just brought me back to that story. You've, you've got to remind us. Huh? It needs discussing, as we've um, exactly. As, as yeah. we know, it's Get good it to talk. Out. It's good to talk. Get it all out. Yeah. Well, that is a a very intriguing end to the letters and. Emails. Keep them coming in, though, people. And just like that, we're done. That's 2001, all signed, sealed, and delivered. Gents, uh, another stellar session, I would suggest. Any final words from you guys? No, it was good. I enjoyed that one. It was good, wasn't it? Good fun. Good guest again. Yeah. yeah loving the guests. Yeah. Yeah, loving the guests. guests. Um, liking that. Liking yeah. the, the, the way we're going, yeah. Yeah, just wanted to say, sometimes I like driving cars. It's great to get that out there, Dale, as we've learned. It's good to talk. Well, yeah. it's good to talk. If you failed after 22 tests, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. That's why I like driving. We're, he loved driving. We, we weren't so keen. Yeah. And the examiner's definitely not. But, no, you know, it's but, good. Yeah, great guests, great talk. Great. Just great. Phones. Just great generally. Great, so, uh, great, 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 great. I reckon we should probably do it again. Look yeah. at 2002 next time, shall we? 2002. 2002. Ooh. I still ain't got a clue. Well, I still ain't got a clue. Uh, what see, it's World Cup, yeah. World Cup. Yeah, it's a career one, isn't it? Yeah. That was an old one. Mm. Could be interesting. Oh, really? But definitely definitely needs yeah. to do some research for that one, I think. Yeah. See yeah. what else. Yeah. Japan and Korea, was it? I think it was. Yeah, it was yeah, split it was, thing, wasn't it? it? Yeah, absolutely. It's like stupid times in the morning. It was six in the morning. Yeah. No That's time it, for yeah. a barbecue there, was there? No, no, no. No, sir. <sighs> well, yeah. So we look forward to doing that one. So just to remind uh, all you lovely guys, um, we're obviously going to be releasing a second part of this um, episode at the end. So we're going to be sort of weekly, not fortnightly. Mm. Um, so we've got a lovely local guest joining us to chat through all his work. Um, and he's agreed to be stranded on Desert Island Dicks as well as sharing his top three albums and films of the noughties. They can so, catch uh, us on the YouTube channel as well. Yes, I was going to say, so... Still on Twitter, still on Instagram, still on Facebook. We're still on the um, email for all of your letters, but we're now on YouTube as well, and we'll be releasing when we've got musical guests and various other little bits to share with you, stuff on there. So check mm. us out on YouTube as well. We're going multi-platform. Oh, no, it's, it's too much. much. I can't Jesus. keep up. For the, you can. I mean, we're some old fellas. We can't be on all uh, these social no. medias. We'll be on fucking TikTok next. We're hitting it. And then the yeah. world will just end. Uh, yeah. That'll be it. You dressed as He Man, <laughs> dancing around. <laughs> Who knows what we could get up to? We can, we the can world's do it. our oyster. Yeah, we. But, so if you want to see that, if you've got any suggestions for what Phil could dress up on, <laughs> yeah, please exactly. let us know on the uh, on the old email. Yeah, follow us as well, people. Subscribe. Yeah, like. absolutely. Subscribe and all that business, so you don't miss any of our what were fortnightly episodes mm, coming weekly. You don't want to weekly. miss this crazy content. Exactly. So yeah, absolutely. Now if we get bigger, we could become daily. Is that all? Oh my God, can you imagine Ooh, that? Daily. This nonsense coming out 24 hours. <laughs> Come oh, on in. The God. war is lovely. <laughs> it's always lovely and warm because you're always peeing in the jacuzzi, Dale. <laughs> exactly. And on that bombshell, I love uh, it. let's end it there. Say goodnight to the lovely Blankers, everybody. Oh, goodnight, Blankers. Bye-bye. See you later, people. Ooh.